Welcome, everybody. Once again, time to take out the garbage. The More Garbage podcast is on the airwaves. Uh, three of us tonight. The boys from New York. In Brooklyn, we got our man Vandal. And in Queens, we got Fubs Rock. And from Austria, but uh, by way of New York, it's your boy JoJo. What's going on, people? What up? What up? What What's up? What's going what on, people? Um, lots to talk about these days, right? Oh, uh, hell yeah, uh, lots. I'm just gonna oh, mosey God. on over to the More Garbage Facebook page. That's More Garbage, uh-huh. and. We got a bunch of stuff that we've been posting this week that uh, we want to get to. Um, Also want to discuss some local Greenpoint-ish. We'll get to that. And uh, definitely want to get um, some people's views on uh, the incident of the gentleman that... uh, Fell asleep in his car in the drive-thru and uh, did not live to see the next day. Story of a lot of us lately. Well, but yeah. I mean, except for the dead (laughs) part, but yeah. Uh, Yeah, well, you know, uh, unfortunately, what's happening right now is uh, more proof that it's, it's... the, it's proof of why the people are out there protesting, right? What happens? We're protesting police violence, and what do we get met with? Even more police violence. All of a sudden now we're like, you know, and this is a key thing. What, what I find more disturbing because, you know what? Cops killing black men right now is no surprise. But modern-day lynching, that's oh, a yeah. problem. So... There was yeah. definitely two men were found. Yeah, two two ahead, men found hanging in California, and um, uh, another like, I think twenty one year old or early twenties uh, man found hanging in a, a park in Manhattan, and they're claiming suicide, and the family's like. This dude was not suicidal. This was like a street smart dude right. that, like, did not have these kind. Now, a lot of people don't see it coming when someone has these kind of issues and thoughts. A lot of people uh, do try to reach out for help, but a lot of people do not broadcast these issues. Um, and I don't want to like just say, "Oh, that's some bullshit. He didn't do it," but it kind of sounds like some bullshit. Sounds like a very convenient uh, headline. Well, the it's the timing is yeah. fucked up. Like this is really like, like there's it sounds it sounds fucked up because it's fucked up. Like it's it's basically it's it, we're in this weird denial moment where it's, where it's two things where people are like automatically because of what's happening that's a lynching. And then on the exact adverse, well, of course it's a fucking lynching because of what's happening that people can't even imagine that could happen. So they're in denial that that can't happen right now. Like, they, would we really, would somebody really like this many, theoretically, this many years later lynch? You know, yeah, they like, would. Well, yeah, 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 yeah they would. Would fuck, totally. Well, that's the, the worst ass, part. Is if, you point out, if you point out in American history, lynching and things like that have never, ever ever, ever really stopped in America. Nope. It was just, um, <clears throat> wasn't it was just two weeks ago uh, that the federal government had, uh, had made sure that lynching was on the books as, like, as illegal and as, as a, a hate, hate crime, crime, you know? Which, which sorry, is, go on. Which to me is absurd. It should have always been, you know. This is this just just goes to prove you when certain people say, "Okay, this is woven into the fabric of what America is." 
those are the kind of things that show you that it is because it's even in our, it's, it, you know what? To have to put in our law books, hey, you can't go and lynch your other citizens, you know, to have to tell your people that is, the thought about it is absurd. Um, you know? Last last time, um, not last time, but last week when uh, we were discussing some hate crimes, um, I had a moment where I was like, do we have to designate certain shit hate crimes? Like, isn't murder a murder? And blah, and I, I realized in, in that moment, I was uh, thinking like, you know, you murder someone and you go away. You're locked up forever. But it occurred to me soon after, like, no, we have the hate crime because very often murderers, they pop back up. They, they do some time and they're out. Yep. Yep. So, that is true. That is true. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you're a person that, that obviously, you know, states or shows your hatred through your actions, like the police are doing, um, you know, then this is the kind of reaction you're going to get. And this is not making anything any better. You know, the guy in Atlanta fell asleep in his car. The last time I checked, that is not punishable by death. It's Did you watch not. the video? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the video. I mean, look, the minute you see you see the guy turn with his taser, and I will say this, and I definitely, definitely am no fan of any cop. The guy, when he when he starts to run away, even though he has a non-lethal weapon, right? And now here's the thing. A taser can give you a heart attack. You know that, right? A taser can stiffen you up and you fall on the ground and you hit your head. It, it is a lethal weapon. They say it's a non-lethal weapon, but it's a lethal weapon. In comparison and, to a bullet. It's not right. lethal in comparison to a bullet. Right, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. In the, in the cop's eyes... That's a non-lethal weapon that they can use on you whenever they want. That's why they well, fucking that, pull out that toy and use it. Now, when somebody wait. pulls a taser, one second, there's a lot of different shit than when somebody pulls a gun. Yeah, definitely. Like when you when somebody has a taser on you, you're not like, oh shit, uh, I'm dead. Like you're like, oh right, you're like, oh shit. Like it's a different oh shit. It's like I'm not saying that what you're saying is incorrect. I'm just saying that we all know there's a there's a different there's a different reaction to that moment. Oh, absolutely, but but I mean, look, I'm honestly yes and no, right? My first thought, is, my first thought at in any police encounter, my very first thought is this man could kill me. Okay, this man might kill me. That's what my first thought is, right? So now, when they turn around, and I always think of every single one of these guys as killers, potential killers. Not saying that every cop is a killer. I think of them as a potential killer. They have a weapon. Now, when they pull out their toy, the little yellow or orange taser or whatever, right? Now I'm thinking, I'm not thinking, oh, cool, he has a taser. I'm not going to die. I'm thinking, oh shit, he's going to use it because as soon as he pulls that shit out, he's definitely going to use it. They itch to use that thing. You ever notice how much they give you less warning with the taser than they used to do back in the day when they would mace you? Sir, sir, I'm going to mace you. I'm going to mace you. I'm going to... Right? You would get warned, right? Now they pull out the taser and they say, no... You know, so... I mean, so yeah, when they pull out the taser, you might go, oh, I'm not going to die, but you definitely know you're going to get stiffened up real quick. I'm just saying the sheer difference of a gun and a taser being pulled. That's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I, you know, I agree with you. And look, uh, it's unfortunate, but back to, the, back to the guy in the video, when he turns the weapon to try to... And these are move if you really are trying to get away. Right, turn and stun the guy. 
and let him stiffen up and keep running, right? But but uh, <laughs> once you turn and turn turn a weapon towards a cop, he's going to shoot you. That's without question. Well, that's that's the thing is that like I think the biggest the biggest dilemma that we we saw in that video is that we're living in in a really really high end pressure cooker right now, and the. That guy's thought might have been fight or flight, you know, and not been thinking about anything but that at that moment based on everything that's it's happening. You know what I mean? And so for me, like we there's so much psychological shit that goes into it based on the, the surroundings at this point that like, you know, if you look at that video and you're like, OK, so you passed out in your car in the in the in the drive in the lane where you're getting food. Okay, someone called you in. People called you in because you were you were bothering their fast food habits. You know, right. I'm not. I can't be a fat American. Get out of my way. Um, <laughs> I need. To, I need to. I'm calling the cops. This guy's sleeping <clears throat> in his car. And so the cops come and escort him. As this is as a story as I've read it, and I don't know. I wasn't there, and there's no video of this, so it's all hearsay. You know, the cops escort him in his car to the parking lot of which they go and talk to him. It's at that point where I'm confused, like for me. And I don't know the law, so I'm not a fucking lawyer. But like, that's the that's the moment where like, did they did they need what? Like, like, I feel like if I I I feel very much if that was a white dude at that moment, it would be a whole different conversation, dude, you know. They would have woke him up and said, "Sir, you don't have to. Why don't you pull over in one of those parking spaces exactly. over there? Continue your nap. Whatever it is, we don't know that. But when you look at the the tussle, like, look, the, we've seen cops. They took it off the air. But you run from cops, OJ, this, that. You know, you know what happens. Like, yeah. And 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 it's, so, like, there's all this crazy shit that you watch this video and like." This dude did not deserve to die. He didn't even get deserve to be pulled out of his car, right? Right. And especially because he kind of wasn't on the streets. He was kind of on public property, a private property at that point, on some real shit, right? So yeah. there's a lot of shit that can go on there, but I don't know. Like it's 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 a very it's a very weird time right now. Have you now ever thought about this? Have you ever thought about why? For instance, like for I'll give you an example. Out here, if you get pulled over for some sort of a traffic violation, a moving violation, anything like that, because that's basically what it is. It's a traffic violation, even though he's in a parking lot. He's holding up the the driveway. Traffic violation. It's a fine. Okay. Now, if you get a traffic violation out here, you are never ever ever asked by the police officers out here to get out of your car. Why? Because they're just writing you yeah. a fucking ticket. They tell you, the, look, they tell you, hey, you missed that stop sign there. You missed that stop sign there. You got to give me 36, uh, 36 bucks. And that's right? where white people, and that's where white people in America say, why? We, why do I have to get right. out of my car? And it's a paradigm that is like, Why? I've done it in my days. Depends how long my beard is. Yeah. How fucking for, for you know? What? Yeah. How I discuss things with cops. For what? What am I do? What I do? Yeah, you can't say that we, as a black dude. You don't, can't we say don't that have as a black dude. I don't have that. Oh. This is what's crazy. This is the craziest part of America. You know, and like that's it. Is that like, and it's a, it's a separation that people don't get. So there's a lot of you watch the video and you separate the pieces out of it. You put the story together from the parts we didn't see. And there's it's it's there's no sense to it and any of it like, you know, yes, if you try to run from the cops, they're going to chase you. That's a fact. Yeah. If you try to if you try to grab a cop's weapon, they're going to attack you. Dude, That's a fact. How but many like, episodes of cops have you seen where they're chasing some fucking <laughs> drunken redneck? And he's not shot. It's just some ridiculous ch encounter. That's that's that is the sheer difference. Is that this dude did not need to be shot. They they should be trained to chase a motherfucker down to a point where 
if you're shooting somebody in the back overall, I mean, they they say that, that's always that's been a big issue for uh, guys. That's what happened to the guy in South Carolina that got shot in the back, that's and he just straight up ran. And you know, there's no look. The reason why people run is because there really is no uh, there's there's no extra charge for e- evading. Evading the police officer, they, they'll tell you. They usually, usually you'll get evading and resisting arrest anyway. They're going to throw it on top of everything else. And no matter penal what. code's different everywhere. Let's be real. <coughs> state every, but it's right. fear. It's fucking running for your life. That's all it is. It doesn't you know? It's like if you think you're going to die, you're going to run. Right? Is this like there's a fight or yeah. flight? Most people aren't trying to fight cops. So let's be fucking real. Or anybody like with a gun, they're gonna run. This is this is natural, right? Right. And not only that, like, look, I would have told my partner, guess what? He just ran from his car. Let's go meet him at his house. Let him go. Let him go. We're gonna this, go. This, go to, we already got his license. We already got his license. We took him out of the car. Right, started well, to cut them. So there's a guy running around with fucking with a with one of our with one of our sets of cuffs on his arm. Let him go. Get in the car. We're going to his house. That's it. And what's really real is that like you can tell that there's fear in the cops' eyes at this point. They're being trained. They're being fucking programmed by, you know, what to worry about, what not to worry about. The press, everything's getting everybody. Everybody's high strung, and. Things need to be, you know, nullified. But really, it's like I mean, you definitely if, do not need to kill people on that level for that reason. Right, period. right. But if you took it now, now if you just take it from uh, from a point of procedure, you don't have to to frisk everybody for every single thing, right? Like, look, if 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 a cop is there to remind you that you violated something. Or let you off with a warning, or even just straight up write you a ticket, right? If you're caught smoking a blunt in New York City, that's a fine nowadays. That's not punishable by death. You shouldn't get beat down with a nightstick, and they shouldn't have to, uh, you know, maybe, okay. At that point, you get caught smoking a J or something on the street. Maybe they they are going to search you, right? Of maybe they, they should. Are. Right, they're gonna see if you have more than the legal amount. Right, if you because have more you know than what five, they call that? they're gonna they call that what? a good arrest. Okay, for example, Dre. Yeah, we were in the car with Dre one day, our boy Dre, and uh, we pulled over at a local bodega so I could get a Dutch. Uh, and it was in the back seat, right? Tinted windows. Dre's in the front. Black driver. I hop out. I'm in the store just long enough to get a Dutch and come out. And there's a cop standing there. White shirt cop and another cop. And I'm like, what the hell is this about? What's going on here? They approached him for double parking. Being black. I've never seen someone catch a double parking ticket in Greenpoint in my... With, my, they're with you know in the 18 car. years of living here never that that's not a green point crime okay uh right. and as soon as the guy walked over and started giving him shit and rolled down the window and started grilling the cop and she said she oh i would have been like shut up you're gonna make well, it worse for i'm me. sure that's how dre felt but anna immediately recognized like what the fuck is this and she saw the surprise on the cop's face when he was like, oh, this isn't exactly what I thought I was pulling over here. Uh, yeah. Just, you know, she, b- blonde like, hair, green eye woman in the backseat, right? Like, uh. Yep. Then I come out. Damn, are you okay? I like, come out like, he's like Miss yo, Daisy, what the fuck, fuck is going on? <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, if I don't have, if I don't have weed in my pocket. <laughs> I'm a loud ass motherfucker with the cop. I'm sorry, okay. I, I've known throughout my life if if I don't have a marker, if I don't have weed, See this, like I or a beer. This is where I need my That's, my whisper, you know, top, whisper thing. And we the started, last, yeah, parking, the white exactly. Like 
The last time wait, wait, I got we started barking on this yeah. cop, and we told him that it was obvious that white he people. that he was approaching Drake because he was black. We're like this doesn't fucking happen here. This is some bullshit, and you know it. And we were pointing in his face, all kinds of shit. And he's like, and he, and the white guy's like, people. look, look, folks, <laughs> we make a lot of good arrests this way. And white we're like. People. By what? Profiling someone and then illegally searching them for no reason? It's like, uh, They're like, we're in a white neighborhood. That man has black skin. Touch yeah. his gun. Uh, and they swipe people in the other way around. Like, if they, yeah, the, if they the la- catch, the, the, the catch white people in a black got, neighborhood, they know they're picking up something. That's what they... The last time I got pulled over, I was so excited. I had nothing in the whip. I was like... I had the music on. I was like, I'm clean. I got nothing in the whip. And then there were guns drawn. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh, shit. And I, yeah, had a I was going to say, you had to take your sunglasses and hat off. <laughs> I had the beard down to here. And, and like, like the following week, I got a true to life Asalaamu Alaikum deep at Broadway Junction getting a bottle of water. And like, like, and my friend was with me. He's like, that just happened. I'm like, yeah. And I told him, Alaikum Salah, let's get out of here. Um, you're like he don't even know the half does he (laughs) and and i was like wow so but like when they that moment where i was like oh shit there's guns drawn and there was a it was a like uh there were two brown skin cops they were a black cop and something else like i don't know what he was respect his heritage he wasn't white um and like I was like, well, look at this. And I was like, and I, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm going for my, my wallet. They were like, okay. And they put the guns away. So I went and I got my wallet out and they started reading my ID. And I was like, now you're putting it together that I'm not a Sharif or a Hector, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> and they're like, I'm like, what is your badge number? Uh oh. They're all like, and they're going through my shit now, looking for shit. And I'm like, what are you looking for? And I'm like, I'm getting all white people on them, you know, like. <laughs> You know, because I'm like, I, I'm clean. I got nothing. Now you're accosting me because of my beard, you know, and you <laughs> thought I was some dude doing nothing anyway. What are you fucking doing? Going through my shit, the point of your gun. <laughs> really? I think it's just like procedure. I think part of that procedure of looking for more than what they actually are there for is part of the problem. Oh, yeah. They're fishing. Because right? yeah. they're like this. Like, the truth is that I'd be like, get the fuck out of my car. But, yo, you got two guns drawn. Like, so this is like, there's this, like, intimidation factor. Like, I don't know why you're pulling me over with a broken taillight or some shit with guns drawn for no reason. You know, in the, in the middle of Ridgewood, in the middle of the night, like a quiet residential block. You know, right. and like, why? why and then, then when it all comes down to it, it's like, you had no reason anyway. And you're looking for something else. It's like, what is this? And it was like, it was a CVS bag. I'm like, soap. Soap, you know, yeah. like oh my god, yeah. soap. We make a you lot know, of good like, arrests oh. this way. Shut the fuck up. I said I have clean balls. Do you see? Um, you know did what? You see the video of uh, the dude in in oh, he's gonna repeat it in Bethel, it. Ohio, the white dude that uh, showed up amongst the crowd of uh, Trumpers and all life matter. Got punched yeah. the back of the so, head. So, uh, average looking white dude. He's supporting Black Lives Matter. Shows up to, you know, this this it redneck. Like he was, uh, to keep it very gathering. stereotypical, he looked like he worked on like the light set of like. I'm not sure what kind of protest it was exactly because I don't know what the fuck they're protesting, ever. You know, they, yeah, Racism. exactly. What right? Yeah, it's a bunch of right wingers. I think it was an All Lives Matter thing. Um, I, I don't even understand. Like, you're gonna have an All Lives Matter rally or. I don't, I don't know what the fuck it was, but there's a bunch of rednecks and a handful of cops standing around and this dude just walks through there and everyone immediately just starts yelling at him, saying mad shit to him, uh, spitting on him. And he stops and he's just standing there and in front of him's a cop and behind him are two cops and some random, like, no two hillbilly just pops him in the back of his head. Bow! And the dude's like, yo... And he turns that, around, that shit, that shit and all like he sees behind him are the cops. He doesn't even see the guy who hit him. And he's basically like, yo, man, yo, that guy just hit me. And the cops are just standing there. And he's like, yo, I I was just assaulted right in front of you. 
No reaction. They don't care. They don't care. And this is the part of the thing. Like, And if you've heard any of the uh, police union reps across the board, right, how they feel like they're the ones that are so victimized because they're being asked to do their job according to their fucking protocol and stop being the judge and jury. You are only an officer of the law that you don't know the law. Put them in cuffs and let the other part of the people in their departments of justice do their job too. It's not your job to kill people and say, oh, well, that was punishable by death or even making parts of society think that if somebody's done something wrong, look, every time they kill somebody by accident, what do they try to do? Bring up their record from before. They tried it with George Floyd because That's he did some time. Textbook but he did the time. Yeah. And sorry, bringing up somebody's previous record. Yeah, listen, listen. No one, justify no one killing. says that George Floyd was an angel. No one has ever referred to this dude as an angel. Irrelevant. Completely fucking irrelevant. Okay? Right. Right. Well, the simple fact that the simple fact that people use it as justification and that the police violence is it's just absurd to me. Like one would think even the union reps should sort of tell their cops, hey man, we can't be as heavy handed. This ain't the fucking sixties no anymore. This is, this is where you're tripping, is because back in the sixties, fools would just fight, right? But now it's control, it's union reps, there's laws to protect them. More than ever, they're going to be heavy-handed. They're going to fucking tell them to be because they're going to let people know that they run shit. This is, this is where they're going to lean they into it. And not a not hero behind closed doors to, well, to their people. Because the people that are... Even the right, good ones. The people that are about it, they're <coughs> amping them up. They're amping them up. They're amping up the other side like, yeah, get them, you know? If they were like, oh, you're a pussy. You know, deal with that. Then they have nobody. Then they so they have to lean into something. Um, yeah. So, so wait, my my point for bringing that guy up is if that's yeah. how they're acting about this random white dude just peacefully standing there in opposition, and he gets punched in the head and they don't react, the how and, and they're in uniform, they're on the job. Then how are they going to act when there's a real problem? And it is a person of of color, you know. It is a black person, a Latino person. I mean, do people even say person of color? I see POC now, and I'm always like, is that still what we're supposed to be saying? P person of color? Like, that shit makes no sense. I don't know. People have also, back around. stop saying I don't people see color. Because if you don't see color, then you're fucking colorblind, okay? It doesn't mean you're liberated. Right. From racism it means you're color blind. You are privileged enough to not see color. Okay, it's a fucking stupid thing to say. Don't say that. Yeah, I don't see color. Yeah, well, you know, Trevor Noah said, "Well, how do you uh, how do you yeah, deal with traffic lights?" Fuck, then? Huh? <laughs> you know? It's fucking stupid, man. I mean, self I mean, uh, you know, I mean, in the, the worst part is even the. Even the quote unquote good cops, because there are none right now, as far as I see, um, will we'll tell you, oh, it's not it's not all of us. Then how come none of you good guys are ever stopping your your other for right? our hearing and this Please don't cover uh, your mouth when you're talking. Sorry. But, uh, you know, uh, saying, you know, uh, saying, uh, why not say to your partner or whoever's wiling out, hey, stop. You know, I mean, I've never look, seen that. Not gonna I've never up. seen in my life. Hey, hey, chill, Anthony. You know why? Hey. They they are they are the most like the only thing that we can take from 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 fucking shitty police officers. All of them are, you know, be about your team. Like, you know, like we. That shit is deep. 
You've never you've never seen it because it doesn't happen. Like it's that fraternal order is so some real like we'll we'll skin you. You ever see uh, you Blue Bloods, that show with Tom Where's... Selleck and um Yeah. I I saw Walmart. very few episodes of it. I know you I got, got hooked, hooked on it for a while. I watched like five seasons <laughs> of it when, when my son was little. It's like a guilty pleasure. And that's just like the kid in me watching a cop show. You know what I mean? Um, right. But yeah. so often during that show, I was like, yo, this fucking piece of shit. Like, yo, look what... Because they try to paint that picture of like, uh, you know, this this the thing you got to do to get results. Like, he's going to get in trouble, but he's not a bad guy. He, you know, he's a hero. Uh, like, uh... That's that's really the like it's like this. Yes, the the sheer act of what you're supposed to be doing as a police officer is based on va- a valiant behavior of, of like, you know, being brave and saying, I'm going to protect the people here. I'm going to get paid very little and be a public servant and, you know, make sure that evil people don't do fucked up things. But what has become is just that, well, you just become the the eat more evil like more eviler so to speak you know like some real fucked up you have the ability to have the power you don't get paid <laughs> a lot of money and people don't respect you and when you start getting to that point where you have no respect and you don't get money but you have power you're going to take it and right so we 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 listen species wise at some point we need a a system as a species which we've learned that to like have a hierarchy where people are checks and balances, right? So at some point there will need to be some, people need to be po- not policed, but there needs to be a, a a hierarchy of people just protecting the general populace is good, right? That's just become like poisonous right now. Like you clearly know at this point that you walk into like the you know NYPD. I'm sure like. That's it. You don't get to say what the fuck is happening in there. Like, and if you do, you get shut the fuck up. Like, nobody wants to hear have you speak your mind on how. Have you ever been to a precinct to report anything? Yes. No. Um, No. (laughs) (laughs) I try to avoid those kind of places. I haven't either. But uh, anyone. Anyone I've spoken to that said, yeah, I went to go file a report because I needed it for whatever, my insurance or this or that. They're oh, like, in Chicago once because we had to put a report in to get a license. Everyone's yes. like, yo, man, they couldn't care less that I was standing there. It was like, we're busy right now. <laughs> Got a cat butt on the screen. <laughs> uh, uh, it's always like there's something else going on. That's like more important, even though they don't know what you're there for in the first place, you know. Uh, So the police, uh, you know, currently being defunded. um, It brings up two topics for me. Number one, they announced that no more plain clothes uh, undercovers, which to me just means they don't have like 30 guys running around the East Village trying to catch someone smoking a joint. Okay. Which means they'll just call well, it whatever. something else. Well, whatever. Cool. Great. Uh, but that also brings to mind Governor Cuomo saying, hey, protesters, you can stop now. You won. Oh, my God. You won. It's what are you still terrible. protesting for? Pandering. You got what you wanted. No, what? you didn't. Uh, didn't, see the, didn't see those cops get arrested yet that ran over those people in those when those NYPD cars did Dude. we? No, it's not over yet. Didn't see uh, didn't see the guy that killed Eric Garner get brought back in and you know have his license revoked and have a governor put on paper that this man should not be hired at any police station across the U.S. No, 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 no. It's not over. It's not over, Governor Cuomo. I mean, did he think Sorry, everyone God. was protesting to repeal uh, 50A? That's not what the protests were about. I mean, that, yeah, sure. that That's part of the wave. You know what I mean? But. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, but, you know, what? you won. Uh, meaning what? Yeah. Hey guys, uh, the sneaker supply is all tapped. You got what you wanted. All the, all the sneaker stores have been looted. Every TV in New York has been looted. You got what you wanted. What the fuck is he referring? What did they get? What did who get? Yeah, exactly. And you mean to tell me a place like New York, which is full of security cameras everywhere, has detectives that can't retrieve some of this stuff? I could have gotten you some of that stuff back within 24 <laughs> hours. Mm. Like, seriously, like, you know, without, without no crazy underground stuff, right? People were calling Ubers to, to, to haul, their, haul their loot with them. Come on. I'm looking for the video right now. I just need to see it. Uh, you know, are you kidding me? Like people are pulling up in 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 taxis. At the very least, you could have gotten that stuff back, especially if they're reporting they're taking this stuff home in Ubers. And what Uber is driving during protests? Shout out to those Uber drivers. Oh no, there were there were definitely there were there. I mean, like you know, it's New York, so like there's other streets, like you know what I mean. Yeah, but still, still, come people on, were, man. Come on, man! Like if they had look, a ban them, it was amazing. They were like, "We're gonna shut this down." These, these like getaway one, vehicles, these getaway vehicles are terrible yeah, for us. Think about this, though. You must be one unaware Uber driver when you when you get the call, like it pops up on your phone. You're like, "There, Yo, there, God, where?" It's a, pan, it's a pandemic. You need that bread. Like you're gonna take that call. Like who else is calling an Uber? By any means necessary, I guess, right? Like whatever. I didn't know I was an accessory. I just picked him up at the VIM. Yo, we got to send some shout outs to some people that are with us in the chat room right here at More Garbage. We encourage everybody to be there with us. Facebook.com slash More Garbage. Shout out goes out to my sister, Eileen O'Dowd. She's not, she's not about that shit. <laughs> shout out goes out. To maybe maybe she wants to dial in. She should dial in. <laughs> dial in, yeah. Get up, get on with us. Get on uh, if you know how to, and you know where we're at. And I know she knows. We where are we're talking at. about Governor Cuomo's quote uh, that he made. Shut up. Where I... he said, "Hey, protesters, you can stop protesting now. You got what you wanted." We're talking about the nonsense. That is a direct quote. Hey. Well, Hey, Mooleys, you got hey, your freaking guys, sneakers cut it out. Right. I know a guy. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I bet you, I bet you uh, Andrew and Chris Cuomo talk hey, like look, that at I'm home. I'm going to get you a good fucking deal on this next TV, all right? You don't got to steal. <laughs> talk to, talk to hey, my guys, guy, Vinny, on the app. This is about TVs. I know a guy. <laughs> I know a guy that knows a guy. Mm. Yeah, shout outs to Jody Hellfire that's with us. Shout out Diana, shout out Antonio, DJ Passive Cole, shout out Christopher Hawkhausen, who's one of the earlier ones with us. Shout out uh, Heather Huffman. We got a bunch of people with us. Join us, Facebook.com slash more garbage. Hey, we want to know. Like and share. Share, 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 yeah, share, share. Share, share. Sh share our <laughs> stream, yo. Okay. And then we'll feel like we got what we yeah. wanted. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let us know. Let us know what your favorite cop shows are and why. Okay. Please tell me. Tell me why it's your favorite cop show. Can we talk about the Dick Wolf is Empire? It, is it someone? What about the Dick Wolf Who? Empire? Dick Wolf's Empire, Law and Order. I, I never. Law and Order. I never got <laughs> down with the Law that and show, Order. You know, people love it. Any of them? Even like. Criminal Intent with no, Vincent I'm D'Onofrio? That was criminal the one. Minds guy. And not, and not Special Victims criminal Unit? Criminal Minds. Nah, I was really about... I was, D'Onofrio was the shit. He was creepy as fuck in that show. He was. Criminal, criminal Minds is good. Is, Little is he creepier Tanky. in that than Full Metal Jacket? Mandy Piatkin. Yeah, Mandy Piatkin. Mandy Piatkin, Piatkin or P, is it Piatkin? Piatkin. Patankin? Oh, now it sounds wrong that I said yeah, it. Yeah, he's the only dude I know named Mandy, though. 
Do you know oh, him? Man, Amazing. Um, no, no, I don't know him like that, but like, you know. <laughs> He's the only dude I've ever heard of named Mandy. <laughs> What's it short for? Man, Mandalorian. <laughs> yeah, but the, the Mandalorian. The, oh, yeah. No, that's Mando. That's Mando. Oh, that's Mando. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah but you could go either know. way, you know. They might bring in. They might bring in somebody. He was in born. He was Mandel. born Mandel. He was born Mandel, like like Mandel. Like A M A N D E L. M A N D E L. Bruce. He's Jewish. Of course. Hey, Fubzo, I got your bagel right here. Fubzo, I've heard that. Not big, Wait, but Mandy, heard, you're talking about heard, Mandy on Criminal Minds. Isn't that guy's name? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love him from Homeland. He's great. Saul. Saul Bernstein. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's gone off the grid. Not to mention, he, you know, Princess Bride, right? This is where it all starts for us. Uh, so, yeah, let us know. We're not, I mean, really, we're what, not... what, what's your favorite cop show? What do you think it was? I mean... Is it going to be something old school? Doesn't matter. Like They're all going to Hills, get canceled Hills soon Blues? anyway. Well, they did cancel a, a bunch of them. Or is it like some comedy show? I never got into like Reno 911 because I was like. I like, I like Brooklyn 99, though. I was Brooklyn just going to say that. Funny. Brooklyn 99 and Reno 911 are two are of they? the funniest cop comedy. Oh, my God. People oh tell me God. that. Reno, Reno 911. Reno 911. I. I've watched episodes. Some of the shit is real funny, but it, it was more shock value. But Brooklyn Nine Nine is genuinely written like you just have to be like I'm in a sitcom. Once you like get into that I'm in a sitcom mindset, it's yeah. hilarious and it's really funny. It's really funny. I, guess, I don't know. I guess I just like darker shit these days. Although I gotta say, I was real into Criminal Minds, and once my son was born, I started drifting a little away from that. So I started really trying to visualize, you know, I get inside the characters and I'm like, I don't want to think about my son getting kidnapped and what could happen. Yeah, like, really. This is like, getting a little, exactly. like, too stressful every night. <laughs> like, like watching those cop, watching those uh, cop shows, yeah, they got to have a little air of uh, of comedy to them. Criminal Minds is, like, straight up, like, serial killers and, you know... Yeah, yeah, like you're like I don't, I don't do that shit. You're like, wow, these people exist. But if anything, though, like if you want to become scared of of people that do really really heinous crimes, that's maybe the the, the way to go. <laughs> you know I love that show. I, I can't this, front. I do love that show. This isn't some like you know like the show that just got canceled, cops. That's just peppered with like. Here's a bunch of minorities and some poor people and some rednecks, and we're arresting them for like. They're all like, "What cheap TV this was." Yeah, really, it was like, you know, this is Chicken this is how we make our money every day. Like, you know, busting drunk people and reminding people that they forgot to go to court. You know. Uh, so what? Stuff like. They're like so. I was just gonna say, let's get into the NASCAR situation because. Wait! Jeez. Shout out to the number one Sicario. Oh, is it? Don Raul. Don Raul. Don Raul. Oh man, Don Raul is in there. He's taking over Ecuador. Word, word. We gonna come down there. We gonna come down there. You know what I'm um, saying? We can do more garbage in South so America. NASCAR, right? Uh, they they banned the Confederate flag, right? Uh, they got this like. No name, no win driver. It's like, I'm quitting at the end of the season. And then they got the other guy yeah. who like uh, details and customizes cars. I don't really want to shout out the name. So I, I don't yeah, want to give him that shine. Um, but he basically just starts ragging on uh, whoever has like their Black Lives Matter car and just talking about how how ugly it is and how, you know, you're telling people what flag they could fly and what, blah, 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 blah. And he started calling out other drivers like, yo, I'm, I'm not riding with this one. I'm riding with these guys. They know what's up. And then those guys came out and they were like, uh, we're not using this dude anymore. He's dead to us. 
<laughs> that guy, that de- that detail guy, the custom guy, design guy, uh, blank designs. Uh, his website shut down. His social handles are shut down. They shut, it's they a shut down. They were like, it's, a- <laughs> it's a rat for his ass. But these are the same idiots that'll go start a GoFundMe and oh like, yeah, you'll see that there's an anonymous racist crowd full of people in America that are walking amongst us that will give this guy money and he'll piece off with $300,000 of crowdfunding from people that say, you should show them goddamn Confederate flag. We own our flag, God damn it. You know, it's really right. like for like three years. I mean, North it's Virginia. funny though that NASCAR could come out and do something that President Trump refuses to. Okay? That that this dude refuses well, to rename army base or military bases that are named after Confederate leaders, like Fort Bragg and Fort Lee. These are traitors, as even our own federal government explains, people who were not in the Union were traitors to the country. They were treasonous. So why are we, why are we then putting up statues of them or why do we have uh why do we have uh people um oh yeah fro fubs is frozen but why do we uh, people... i hear you though <laughs> yeah, yeah right. sure. i mean you know what maybe this is a start to, a start to things they can get rid of the confederate flag that's within the uh state flag of georgia that's a good one uh, they can get rid of it in 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 every form except for in a museum. You know, that might be the better way to do it. Um, you know, getting rid of the statues, it's a great thing. They're doing it in Europe too. They just got rid of the King Leopoldi statue, which got spray painted and uh, you know uh, taken down. And you know, King Leopoldi was responsible for killing 20 million Leopold? count them 20 Leopold? 20 I just remember that Bugs Bunny uh, sorry people you know uh, that's one of those things where 20 like, million? People, sorry I was cutting you off rudely 20, 20 million Congolese people and this guy had a statue up for him, for himself like you know it's the same thing when people say Oh, our forefathers, blah, blah, blah. They wrote this constitution for all of us. Uh, You know what? They didn't write it for me. They didn't. At that point, when they wrote it, it was not for me. And it hasn't even been amended to say, like, all American people, you know. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's it's a strange thing for me, you know. That, you know, and it's just a sign that, like, you know, are things going to get better or is is the learning curve for the U.S. one of these things that's going to take another four or five hundred years? You know? Um, okay. People to respond to me while I'm talking in a podcast is pretty <laughs> dumb thing. So I guess I'm to myself while my people just... Stare I'm at the trying screen to set up. and I just you <laughs> with we were I was I was frozen so then I was acting frozen and then oh you, you were, were acting frozen so we had to let you ride mm-hmm. no I wasn't but I started to you, you some, tricked some me point I was because it was like I don't know. set the window back up <laughs> I was I no because I told you anyway oh wait sorry. you are still frozen <laughs> all right hold up let me let me see I'm gonna I'm gonna reef is so that we, my that's my digital alter ego. He's trying to take over. Uh, so now we're dealing with technical difficulties here at the More Garbage Podcast. Uh, and in the meantime... You're good. You're live. You're all gravy. It's your. Yeah. It's right now the JoJo show. Um, yeah, right now I'm just stuck dead in the water. We're trying to have a conversation with two of my co-hosts that aren't even talking to me. You know? Because one is busy staring at the screen while the other one's frozen. So, you know... It's kind of hard when you don't and, have that uh, other person to bounce on. To so how it just oh, it wasn't one of my best sets. The yo, their needles fucking suck. Oh, the, you ever been in that booth? It's terrible. Shut up. 
<laughs> Shut up and dribble. <laughs> I think we're back. I'm still I'm still frozen, but we can talk. I don't know. Can they can, can yeah. they hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can the internet, the internet can hear can me? Hear you. I'm using my statue. That's what that's what Elf said. I'm I am a statue. I'm an idol. You can make me a logo. This is where we're at. Okay. Right. But what's the answer? Like NASCAR is is really like well. We all know NASCAR was just made to race cops so they can do bootleg liquor runs, right? That's where NASCAR started, right? It's to make make vehicles to, to race cops and do bootleg liquor runs. So the Rednecks just started it to get, get shine around the world, um, around the countryside, more or less. That's how NASCAR started. So they just care about money. And, like, they also know that they have influence, they don't give a shit. They're making a stance. And people are still going to come out and watch people race. They shit. know. They know. They know. And they're, they're making it. And that's dope. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, it, I mean, it's bold. I, I was thoroughly impressed. I wonder if rednecks are going to make a big redneck protest and still go try to go to races with their, with their Confederate flag. Come on, We're bro. I'm white. Come on. Come on, bro. <laughs> Y'all don't wipe my free speech. Yeah. Don't be white. You can't, you can't <laughs> tread on this. It's but like you can go to Charlotte, because that's where NASCAR is from. You feel it like the the it's a and and that's that city from my experience was the literally divided black and white by by a highway and like and <laughs> just as i as i saw when i was there and i went all over with the store runs painted a mural and these, these dudes store awesome humans and uh and like and it was like the craziest like you're deep in the south and but na everything's nascar everybody's nascar nascar is everything yeah. black white it's just it's 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 south. It's 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 part of like Carolinas. It's something, you know. It's a whole. They don't stand for that bullshit down there. So it's over. That's it, you know. But 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 you know, Eileen's right. What's next? What do we do? Well, that's a bigger job, right? So all like you're right, and Serge is right. Like the, the of course Trump's not going to say anything. His whole game is to not say anything. Like that's his whole entire like platform. He's do he I lost do. the last election by over 3 million votes, okay? He only got in through the Electoral College, so he needs to hold on to whatever he possibly can. Because there's no way he's win winning well, a popular he's, he's... vote. And he can't start um, a wave uh, by his racist base. Um, can't stop a, like, a defund the Trump wave. You know what I mean? He's got to hold on to his racist base. And he's doing a whole lot of dog whistling all over the place. Hey. Five yeah, people even, on both sides of this argument, as usual. You know? No. Hey, Trump, are yes. you considering renaming any of these bases? No. Because these bases, uh, they they symbolize uh, winning. You know, we were winning. We won with these bases and to uh, take that away would be like uh, disrespectful to the people that train there. What? what yeah, that doesn't make any fuck? sense either. Motherfucker, they rename bridges all the time. Get into it. Yeah, re really. If someone renamed right. your high school, would you really give a shit? Even when he was interviewed by a Fox News black woman who asked him if he knew where the quote, the phrase, when the looting starts, the shooting starts, if he knew where it came from. He said no. Of course he did. He said, he, at first he said, he said no, and then he said, oh yeah, it was from uh, Frank Rizzo, the racist guy from Philly, right? And she goes, no, it was from a racist police chief in Miami who was a well-known racist who, who was like, okay, when the looting starts, the shooting starts, right? And the way he tried to cover this thing up, you would want to facepalm your hand 
right through the back of your fucking head. I swear and to God. May, maybe he did you or know? maybe he didn't. I don't know. But I heard it somewhere. And quite honestly, I think it sounds good. It, it, you know, and the things that he... <laughs> I love the Trump face, but, uh, I, you know, and I think it's it's this that people are starting to really see through. Like, he's losing... He's even losing supporters on his side. Um, you, know? you know, I feel you on the Triborough Bridge. They, should, they well, shouldn't have called that but, the RFK. You're right. <laughs> but, but... He, He's losing supporters, but he's got a lot of people like those protesters are just talking about. There's a lot of people that are about this dude keeping this country great, you know, <laughs> like, and that's, that's, you know, we're, we're in bubbles. New York's a bubble. We don't see what's, what's going on. What, but uh, you know what? I still keep trying to grasp at what's great other than cable service. Because not even your internet speed is great in the U.S., right? No, like, we're fucking terrible. Like, That's just what's, insane. Like, what's great? Like, I mean, you have probably the most violent cops in the world. Uh, you have you have a thing called school shooter. Like, out here, people are, in Austria, people are like, well, what is that? Well, I bet that? if you ask Trump, you'll say, hey, but, but look, school shootings have all gone down since I've been in office. Like, yeah, because nobody's going oh, to school. schools are closed, dick. He's like, you know, if we stopped testing for coronavirus, pretty sure that our numbers would go down. Like, well, if we stop testing for anything, I could be a fucking Harvard genius too. There's still like 750 people a day dying from coronavirus. I didn't even realize the number was quite that high. Let's not forget, kids, those numbers are going up everywhere oh, we look. Mike Pence wrote, a, wrote an op-ed that, in, in uh, I think, the New York Times or, or something. Wahili. And um, he basically said there is no second wave and that it's some bullshit that the media made up. And don't worry about it. Go back to work. Thank that's you. That's crazy. Thank that's you, Vice President. Sir. Mike Pence, who is heading, who is spearheading the coronavirus, you know, uh, management team. Well, you want to call a it. lot of these guys are just, they're not even, they're not even as much of a leader enough to show the optics of even caring during the time when there was, you know, during the time where, where people should have been at least wearing a mask just to be courteous to others, right? They couldn't even do that. Never once did this man say, my heart goes out to all of the families and the people that are lo- that were lost Quite during this opposite. corona time. Not once. Not, when, Not once. when that reporter said, hey, what do you say to the families of people that, that have relatives passing? And, and he was like, I think that's a terrible question. And and you're a terrible reporter. You should be ashamed of yourself. I f- well, I mean, he's just a piece of shit. Like there, there's no two ways about it. Like he's uh, he's on his on his bullshit regularly. Um, and that's that. This is and then what that means. That's like that's a load of shit to say as well. But it's like he's the most ill representation of uh, what. <laughs> Of what a what a president should be, period. And you know, not to say we've had any great presidents in our day. I think everybody has to do, as we talked about last time, shitty things in, in the seat of the president. You know, overall, can't make everybody happy. You're gonna do fucked up things at some point. And you know, but this dude is is a is a mockery. You know, and that's just that's the the very clear representation of what's happening right now amongst all the other like amazing wild cards of catastrophe films. So we we got to, you know, get through this to figure out how to fix it. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of we got a lot of things that we got to work on like our society needs needs some serious help because we got a we got a big problem with police violence. We got a big problem with racism and we got a big problem with like you know, it sounds like a joke, but closet racism. Not just closet racism, but people who believe themselves to not be racist. And 
you know, okay. You're not racist. You're prejudiced. Okay. That's uh, interesting. You may not hate anyone else's color, but you have a built in system of values, perception. There is a structure. Oh my God, what is that sound? <laughs> God, why doesn't anyone mute their mic oh, when they man. step off camera? Mute their fucking mic. Um, they have uh, a built in system fucking... of values and perceptions. It's called hegemony. Okay, you're living uh, yeah. in, in a hegemonic That's everywhere, though. That's any group, though. World where. Uh, but that's any, any group of. Of the same people. Sure. It, it's that right? you don't understand that you're conditioned. You follow rules that you don't even realize are rules. You just think that's just the way it is. It's like, no, it doesn't have to be that way. You you have been conditioned and accept this lifestyle. Of course. My point is, is that, yes, 100%. And that comes from tribism natural at our human you know nature of to be with a people and be same people right so like you know for me as an american i never felt more american than leaving america right like you don't really feel american until you step out and you're like oh i'm not in america and you meet somebody that's american that maybe on soil they'd be like i'm from georgia and you're like oh i'm from new york but here, you're both American. You know what I mean? Like, you're both wherever in the world you are. Just not to say that that's what... But it's like, oh, it's an, oh, it's an interesting, like... And so that's that's kind of like... That's, that's tribalism at its, ba- at its base. But here, because we we have all this, we, we've just created such such tension. And then, of course, the institutionalized <laughs> oh, hundreds and hundreds of years... Sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh at you. I just uh, I looked over at the chat room. Shout out to No Request. And uh, he said what I was saying before the show. He said, opinions on Bones and Heather Hart scandal. And you know what's funny? I don't even know which scandal. Because there there have been a few blowouts already. You know, uh, I asked him, where's Mama Wada? He said, probably blocking people all over the place. Because... Hector, Hector, where you at? Join us in the, join us here in yeah, the podcast. Yeah, where's Hector? Get, get him in here. <laughs> we want to hear from you firsthand. We want to hear from you firsthand. If anybody out there is uh, listening to us right now that's in the chat room that knows of our man, Mama Wana, we got to have you up here. And uh, we're a willing to go flash guest and bring you five. New, uh, yep, new I'm, I'm messaging yep, him right we're now. Bring you right up to I'm, I'm a statue right now. We want to hear awesome. this and we want to hear the beef. But at least you got a serious look on your face. You're looking I serious. Know. Uh, very, you know. It's very, I'm, I'm just a voice and um, I'm, I'm reporting from somewhere else. That's your headshot. <laughs> like, so oh we've got we've got Fubsies in the war zone and we put that picture up. <laughs> did you exactly. um did you restart your Skype? You did, right? I mean I'll try again. Let's, let's get out. I, I, I mean whether you're it. in or out, it's gonna look the same. So <laughs> let's <well> try. <laughs> so we're going we're we're going duo right now. It's uh Joe and uh, Jojo and Vandal. Still you here at the more garbage podcast because he he looks like he's still just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get this controversy uh, settled up uh, on the uh, Frankie Bones Heather Hart scandal. You know, maybe we should get them both on and have them both say their piece. You know, and see see how that turns out. What's up, Mister Fubs Rock? Fubs Rock is back with us. But you I'm know, still frozen on live. Oh, I, I mean, we are delayed. Because I think we haven't uh, switched uh, switched pictures and tried to come back to it. But can someone fill me in on the whole entire scandal? Because all I saw is I've seen a couple of uh, of things where I was just like, Meh. you know, and that's that's actually the, the 
This whole situation, yes, people have said, oh, it's intentionally done to bring up division in this country. No, that division has all, always been there. Right? That division has always been there. And you start uh, to... Uh, let's save yeah. it. I'm trying to get him in. Okay. You see, you start to see it now more than ever. I mean, even even me, like I had guys that I grew up with that I, you know, that I know since since elementary school and we used to be real cool. And then you, you listen to some of the things they say and the way they think and you're like, really? Nah, man, this is not the person that I associate with. I'm out. Right. And that happens. That happens sometimes. Right. There are basically family members. People, shit. Shit right. Changes. Right. You know, and so you hear people say things like like you were saying, you'll be around a group of people and they'll say, man, you know, these whatever derogatory term, not even knowing that. You're there. You're I've one definitely, of them. I've definitely, right? I've definitely gotten the, I've gotten the, the, uh, the, the anti-Semite comment. And like, it depends where I am as how uh -huh. I react. That's me though. Right. It's, but it's not aimed at me. It's an overall, like, it's just pure hate. You know, <laughs> like. There's, yeah, yeah. But, but then you got to remind people. It's like, yo, you really hate those people? A word? Did you know that I'm well, one? Then well, they're like, oh, see, oh. Now, I have been that guy, but it has happened in places where I shouldn't say anything because it's a survival thing. You know what I mean? Where it's like deep, deep south kind of shit. Like, you know what? I'm yeah. going to ride right now. <laughs> you know, maybe, 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 at a, maybe at a trade show. I'll let that one rip at a trade show and I see him. You know? <laughs> but not going to ride for my people right now. It's not the no. It's time to ride for my people. The tires yeah, are non-deliverance country <laughs> you're like hey we done got us one start a fire <laughs> hell no you just gotta know oh shit not coming back here that was fun um <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> racism you, you know this is the, one of these things where it's like it, I mean if people did get a chance to like, I mean, dialogue is kind of important. I hate to sound like the apologist, <laughs> but dialogue is important in certain Best. ways for people to for, for people to get schooled on what they, you know, might not be familiar with. And I mean, that same thing goes back to the very first topic that we started talking about, which is the the police not understanding how they need to deal with people. Right. And learning how they can de-escalate de a situation. And you don't de-escalate a situation by cracking someone's skull open or yeah, shooting them in the back or tasing them for no reason or smashing in their window. Right. That's not how things work. Right. And, you know, there needs to be more of an approach of, of actual using using a little bit more of your mouthpiece and your brain than it is using your fist because that's what our culture is basically. It's based on that. Like we're talking about a place that's in all of its existence has spent less than 40 years not being involved in a war. Oh, yeah. We're, we're like still not being involved in a war, which means also violence. Violence is within our nature. We're off our meds. As, as, as Americans, that's sad We're to totally say. Totally off our meds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like that. Like I said, we're the we're like you. You always say, you know, we're the, teenager. the teenager of the world. But that teenager is a pretty big one with a lot of fucking. Well, it's cards. like a pituitary disorder. It's like a kid that's gotten out of control on some Akira shit. Like, oh shit, it's, uh, things out of control. You know, it's got control of of everybody. You know, like. That, that's what it is, but it's 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 a it's a brawling teenager. It's a bully, you know. Like somebody needs to find somebody needs to find uh, the U.S.'s red helmet and settle them down. Baseball. <laughs> yeah, it needs it needs a little little you know Thorazine even maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, wouldn't you think that after like kicking kicking everyone's ass around the world for like you know I don't know the last like 
couple hundred years, you would think, okay, we could just settle back into our own thing. We're going to go fix our stuff, but, uh, you know, don't make us come out to your front yard again. You know, like, does it really have to be like as, but it, but it even trickles down to, to what happens in the everyday. Right. And you'll see first person, usually a person, a person who doesn't think their first solution will be to try to fight, you know, or to try to meet the meet the situation with some sort of a, a violent, uh, you know, a, a violent reaction rather than, you know, an intellectual uh, conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, listen, I believe thoroughly in in communication to bridge the gap. And I look at I look at a lot of everything. And, and I'm not saying it's always it, it's always uh, it's always going to be the way it is. But I do look at all uh, I try to look at conversation as perspective because of the, the kind of place we are, like where it's like nobody really is like American and the people that have tried to be American like just got hallmarked you know what i mean like into america america like and so like you know our 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 patriotism is just capitalism at the end of the day they comes in sneaker drops so it's really you know what i mean like that that's what we're talking about but it doesn't it doesn't right. our our country is based on a whole different concept that's created all this diversity and like separation yeah but i you mean know? it's like yo we're we're trying to show other people yo we're trying to show other people a fairy tale even as we speak we're trying to show other people a fairy tale and the reality is a, a fucking you know a horror a horror story you know like we try to show people we're the we're the we're the beacon of freedom the beacon of freedom where the cops beat the shit out of you Right? Really? Oh, we're the 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 place who you know, you know, found ourselves on on free speech. Right? Free speech from who? From who? The guys that are allowed to walk around with swastikas on their on their arms, right? The fine people who say Jews will not replace us. What kind of crap is that? We we actually we actually let these things happen in our country. So which is it? It's one or the other, right? We lock up more people than communist countries. We lock up more people than fucking North Korea, Russia, oh, and China, like, of our own citizens. What are we doing? Right? The, we More than half of our people are, more than half of our population is poor. And I mean... And, and still work 40 hour a week jobs. What are we doing? Right? There's something that's fundamentally wrong with what's going on. You know? Well, I mean, I we, both of you guys are. No, I'm just, I just probably looked no, like I'm, that. I'm, right? he, was, yeah. he was, he was I, in game. We just, it was like. I'm, I'm trying to get our, our, you know, sneak attack guest on and I'm um, just checking our, our, our sneak chat. Attack guest. Oh, you're working out, you're working out our I'm flash trying. guest. I'm working we on need it, our yeah. flash, flash guest on Right? Oh, Bones is going to get a hold of this and he's going to be so well, mad. Uh, you know, it would be but funny if we got both of them in got a, <laughs> right now. <laughs> got an opportunity to get on too. You know what I mean? Or she said, what is it? Shots was. Oh my God, that's a Hey, put them hey, out we there, can bring man. them We're together and kumbaya talk. it out right now, yo. Hey, we just talked about dialogue. Yeah, we, we don't want drama. Right? We, yeah. we want to make friends. Yeah, are we, are we, are we pot stirring? Or are we trying to or are we trying to bring this? We're trying to clear it out. Wait mm. a second. Wait a second. I just thought of something. Doesn't one of them, one of those guys clearly has an expression, an acronym that he's been using since the 90s. Right. Well, okay, huh? so. What what was that? Is it called uh, P.L.U.R.? So I heard, hmm. I heard uh, that originally it was for Plum, and then someone misused it, and it just took off as Plur. 
but it was actually supposed to be plum. Well, well plum, plum also makes sense. Peace, love, unity, music, or or, or movement, right? right? And plur became plur in the in the early nineties is because a lot of these people were doing raves. So peace, so love, they, unity, so rave. So let's let's find out more about this peace, love, and unity part of this acronym when we bring these two together. Oh God! And to I, you know, trust themselves, open dialogue, right here, in amongst amongst a group of their peers, other DJs who are professionals, <laughs> here at More Garbage. All right. The trash we, collectors. Are they? Are we having a flash guest? Is um, I'm. I'm. Uh, oh. Yeah, a couple. A couple of minutes. Uh, he's trying to wrap something up, and then yeah. uh, we'll get him up here. So let, let's change the subject I, for I, now. I am. I am. I imagine. I imagine him like like in in space trying to get. A he's probably right? no. He's probably like getting all mind. his screenshots together. <laughs> <laughs> he takes screenshots of everything. Someone says something, he doesn't block them first. He takes screenshots and then he blocks. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I respect that hustle. That's a real. That's a real gangster hustle. I like that. I do the same thing. It's vindictive. You know, it's like per, it's, when they say you know, you in Twitter posts it's, that have now been removed, and then they show you the screen grab, and you're like, "Bless that person." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ah, got you, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Screen, gra- I mean, screen grabs are forever. And once they get shared and they're good ones, it's over. You'll never not see that for the rest of eternity. Yeah, but, it, but you know the way around that is, you know what, anyone can make a graphic of what should be like a, a you know, a I'll make one right now. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want <laughs> him to say? I'll get to, I'll get to tell by 3 o'clock. <laughs> They'll be like, yo, JoJo wrote this message to me. You're like, fuck you, dude, really? <laughs> Yeah, but you know, there's there's something there's something real though about when when it gets out that something happened and then there's oh there it is oh damn okay the That's deep real. fake the deep fake is gonna be the the thing like and they're gonna start and like forget about deep fake and what people say you're gonna deep fake a a, a post because that's the easiest to do if you're a graphics guy you could be like yo this was our whole conversation you're like. I never even wrote yeah, this. The guy. deep fake videos. I mean, that's what we're gonna we're gonna start deep doing. Deep fake videos are coming, and they are really scary. I don't know if you've seen. I I saw. Um, I don't know how I ended up on this site, but uh, I I saw a deep I fake a like Scarlett fake Johansson videos. porn, and <laughs> believe me, there was. A, well, that well that went that way. But real there was quick. a couple of moments where I was like. It was it Damn, was Gaddafi at the so end of his good. life. Nope. Oh, Kurt Boggs is in the building. Uh what up, Kurt Boggs? Join oh, us God. here at the More Garbage Podcast. This part of the More Garbage Podcast has uh oh, not been by. brought to you by Steagle. 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 It's beer it's beer for beer. <laughs> Stiegel is it is German for steps and you will fall down them if you drink enough of this <laughs> and I'm gonna shout water out of my shout nose. out to my people up there in Salzburg you know Stiegel send us some beer man we could we could use it here at more garbage we like it we like it I like that funny yeah. thing is I remember going to visit uh, going to visit Vandal one time, and we went to uh, you know one of those little fancy beer places where they've got all sorts of beers. Do you remember that? Remember uh, that Vandal? I mean, there's a bunch of them, but so basically, you probably, you probably went to brewer. They had a couple of Austrian, lane. right? Now, I pay. This is this is this is one of the beers that they had there, and uh, I forget what other one, Alta Kringer or something like that, right? This is supermarket beer. <laughs> this stuff costs seventy cents a can. A can of Coca Cola costs more than the can. That's because you're beer. in Europe. That's all. You didn't beer didn't get shitty in Europe. Period. Well, never. It never it's got really shitty. shitty. It gets shitty when they try to charge you like uh, $4.50 for a can 
of Austrian beer that you're like. You gotta get yourself some Roundhouse Black Black Forest mm. Pilsner. That's it. Um, so we got to take a vote. That's what I want right okay, now. Okay, um, what's the vote? It looks like my Skype is froze up. So, do we want to reset the Skype and see if that'll fix the connection with Fubs and allow us to get Hector in? Because obviously, I'm not going to be able to bring him in if the Skype is frozen. Um, but that means we'll we don't have to stop the stream, but we got to jump out go. and jump back on. We could go. We could go to commercial break. Go to commercial break. Should, we're gonna. We're gonna. You know, pay some bills. Should we do it? Okay. <laughs> well, let us throw on our graphic and just give yeah, us about. Started. I don't know. Sixty seconds should be good. When I say now, when I say now, all you guys sign off Skype and come right back. <laughs> um. All right, so I'm going to switch over and just give us a quick moment. Yes, we will be right back. We're experiencing some technical difficulties right here at the More Garbage Podcast. Just stick around with us and uh, stay tuned. Gangsta. That was pretty good. Okay. You guys are back live on the screen. We are back live on. Hello. Good day. And good day. let me get on my J.O. with this guy. Our chat room. Our okay. chat room is just on it. Yeah, the chat room is popping. Big ups. Big ups to everybody in the chat room. Y'all don't forget to share what's going on over there. Gangsta. Uh, we are back. We're uh, back. Uh, I checked everything. You know, so we're trying to get. Uh, we're trying to to, uh, you know, see if we can create some peace, love, and unity. Oh, and there he is. All right, give me a second to set up the camera. Vin Diesel self. <laughs> Wasn't me. Heck, the oh, mama wanna in the building, man. What's going on? Maybe our greatest chat rumor of all time. <laughs> <laughs> like I've always wanted to be like jumping in. You're like, yo, but what about this? What about that? But how let you well, on, this? What you don't know is that we're on delay a little. So sometimes like we'll be seeing the chat and we'll be already like ahead of it, which is always we that's our secret. Now everybody uh, he knows. knows. We got I figure so like what I do is, is I, I just try to throw in as many as I can. One of them is gonna get looked at, like thirty of them or not, because of like the good. pace. It's all, all right. good though. Our, no, our no, cameras no, no, no. Oh wait, you gotta get headphones on. I think we're echoing. We got weak cam. Like we'll be all There's no echo. Everything is fine. Yeah. I mean I got my oh, okay, headphones. All right, all right. Cause I th I thought I was hearing someone in the background. All right. Oh, it's uh, hold on. Let me see if I can. You just gotta put. You just gotta. You know what? You got a weird camera. Oh, if you look at the Facebook, oh, it's coming through. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Well, it's like a thumbnail. I, forgot. I, I'm good. I was trying to do it through the phone. Let me see if I can change up the the audio right here. 
Well, we got more people joining us. They they must know what's going to be happening right now. Oh, they I'm back, Joe. No, we're, we're probably going to have uh, some wiggy cam going on. Uh, so I'll adjust as much as I can, but you know, for some reason, it seems like I'm still here. I don't know. My audio. All right, no, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Okay. Oh, graphic. If you take a look at the Facebook feed, Fubs, <laughs> Fubs is a, th a thumbnail size, and I'm right next to you, right next to you. Oh, and I love the news bar, by the way. Uh, can y'all hear me? The news bar that's uh, now involved in the podcast. We hear you. All right, cool. Uh, do you guys still get that uh, echo? We're going to test it right now. All right, let's see how we're looking. Let me make sure you are mute. Okay, I think our sound should be good. All right. If uh, you can hear me asking this question in the chat room, then let me know. And uh, of course, there'll be a little delay, but should be coming up in a second. I think we're good, though. Shout out to Pablo Calderon in the chat room with us. Shout out to Chris Luckett. Shout out to all these people that have jumped in and with welcome us. welcome to you know. our super surprise on the DL. Skip yes. through the back door. The man up there oh, in the top right of your screen is our <laughs> man Hector Mamawana, the Dominican Shout dub plate champion. Dominican dub plate specialist. Oh, Dominican. I don't believe I'm better than anyone. I just feel like I'm pretty good at what I do. Yeah, but don't you wear the belt though? There yeah. <laughs> That's a champion show, but I'm a champion of being me. Okay. I'm not saying I'm better than anyone. I just said I'm the champion of being me. And what it says is Dominican double plate specials. Ah, okay. Not that I'm saying that I'm the man you can't mess with me. Everybody, you know, we all we all could be up there in the top. So all <laughs> I'm saying is I'm pretty good at what I do. I don't I have to say I'm better swag, than somebody. Bro, I feel your swag, bro. This fucking computer is getting icy with everything you're saying, bro. Don't be how messing up my keyboard and shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> stuff to work. So um, we're here to discuss. Yeah, um, Joe. Joe doesn't know the. Yeah, he the doesn't game. know your whole experience. So, so, so please, Mister Mamwana, fill us in on on uh, on the on the mathematics. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess we're gonna go into an extra hour. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> let's put it this way. Uh, I've been in this thing for a little bit. I started first buying records. Like I first got into this whole thing, like in 98, I wanted to be a hip hop DJ, blah, blah, blah. I get taken to an outlaw. I get interested into the whole music scene and I'm trying to get my holding in this whole thing. Uh, one of those stores back in the day, one of those stores was uh, Sonic Groove. Okay. Sonic Groove was all these other people. Uh, one of them was Heather Hart. They had this uh, rule back in the day. Uh, you listen to five records, you had to buy one. All right, back. That's your store. I ain't even going to get into that. I listen to three. I listen to three. That is two below the five. Mm. Yep. I'm following the rules. You know what I mean? And she comes out. Heather Hart comes up to me, starts barking on me and all the shit. How I need to buy a, a record and this and that. So I asked her what her favorite record was. I bought it, never came back. Um, <laughs> and if anybody knows my collection, they lost out. Do you remember what that uh, record was? Something named Baroshima. Okay. Baroshima. I, I, all I remember was Baroshima. Oh, Baroshima. Like, all right, give me that. Pay for it. <laughs> Fuck out of here. So, <laughs> you know, people change, people grow. And I find myself again with this person, Heather Hart. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, it's been like bad years. You know, it was like 2000. Fuck. I don't know. You know, it was a couple years ago. So, like, yo, you know, fuck it. Why not? 
I'm not even going to say nothing. Okay. Oh, we on this. We on that, you know? And I'm seeing that she got, a, like, a lot of, like, really hard right-wing stuff. Like, hard. Not like, hey, you know, this is my opinion. And, you know, there was a lot of things where I had to check her. It was like, yo, you know, what the, what the fuck is wrong with you? Literally. What the fuck is wrong with you? And one of the last straws was uh, she had posted up about the, the protest going on, you know, by hitting looters. So I know what's going on. We got this dog whistle going on. You know what I mean? You're yeah. talking about people that are fighting for their lives. People are protesting injustices. And you want to do this cute code? Like, and then you got this other post about how you're seeing everything with, like, rosy colored glasses. You know? So, like, fuck it. I'm done. And I posted this shit up. Like, yo, is this the people that you really looking up to? Like, yeah. really, this is it? Mm -hmm. And later on, somebody had, you know, that post was going. And somebody had ass, you know, with this Frankie Bones thing. I'm fucking <laughs> dead. <laughs> Speak on it. Speak no, on and, it. and that you can even say that with no disrespect. It's just like, I'm not checking for every single person's opinion on my politics. Mm -hmm. Frank, so he, what he says doesn't really matter to me. Like, he's not in my zone. We're not even in the same thing. You know, I seen him play drum and bass once. It was garbage. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So later on, he goes up and he call, says some snowflake alert. And then he posts his little, uh, you know, you what is it? Something along the lines of basically, you got to master yourself oh, uh, before you I have saw anything that. with anyone else. And, I, and so I was like, you know what? Fuck you. You know, I, I, if there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a screenshot where I basically said, you know, what was it? Fuck you, you fucking has been. Uh, you suck at drum and bass. Enjoy the block. So later on. I find out that the screenshot, not my little reply, was put over. Uh, I took that screenshot. No, it was me. I took that screenshot. I was like, this is what your, your homie who's uh, been preaching peace, love, unity, and respect. Which, by the way, in case own. you haven't seen it, it was basically like an all lives matter thing. But more importantly than all lives is your own life. And the final line is like, your life matters. Uh, it's just one of these like, it's like totally out of, it, it, it's a displaced like hug to all the other people that feel uncomfortable talking about racism you know yeah it's like there's a lot of things going on right <laughs> now now is not the time to be playing with people especially right. when people are hyped up you right. know what I mean real. when right. some people it's forget I ain't white I don't get mistaken for white. You know what I mean? I failed the brown paper bag test. When I cross the border, when I see a cop, they wonder if I'm a terrorist or I'm a drug dealer. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Like, shit, back in the day, like, uh, right before 9-11 happened, I had a crew cut and a three-inch long feral goatee. I was listening to, like, a lot of speed core. Wanted to take a tough guy picture. So I got my passport around the same time the terrorists got theirs. Oh. So every time I cross the border, it's like, who the fuck is you? Like, uh oh. <laughs> Stop you know, growing big beards, y'all. Well, I I I cut it. Uh, that that's that, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but anyways, let's get back to where we was at. So you know he posted, I mean? so I posted that up, image. Yep. Yeah, I posted up that image, and a lot of people start hitting it up. Yo, this guy's garbage because of this. This guy's garbage because of that. And then you start finding out certain things. Uh, like he even started, uh, he went back and deleted his post. And then said, I started Photoshopping it. He did like this fake Black Lives Matter like post where he goes to uh, that globe that's in uh, that Queens Park. Mm -hmm. You know the good First so he goes yet. over there and he takes a picture and he's like, you're welcome. Like, you're welcome for what? You're yeah. pretending to protest and I'm supposed to thank you or something? Is this it? Did he, did he have a sign up and then the shadow had no sign? 
Nah, he had it was in a, in a meme form. He was just standing there. So he just goes outside, takes a picture right in front of this statue, and says, "You're welcome." Like, like we are the world. Oh wow, you really did so much for the cause. You, yo. Yeah, you know it's 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 uh, it's strange, but like I was saying before you got on here, mm. I'm from South Brooklyn, where mm. he's from, where Heather's from, where his brother Adam's from, all these people, yeah. right? But these are the kind of people that I expect to say this sort of all lives matter thing and sort of hide behind it. They know it's code. They know it's coded. They know good and well exactly what it is. Right? Uh, I believe the but same thing. But you cater to your people or do you live a certain way? Because, again, I know some of them personally. Right? Mm -hmm. So... But again, I mean, we know both of them for, for, yeah, for decades. Right, right. No, no, I know all three of them, but you know what? It doesn't it doesn't surprise me that they, that that's the reaction you get, because that's the reaction you get from a lot of the people that are from that area of South Brooklyn. You know, unfortunate to say, but, it, you know. It, it really is like that. And, you know, some people, some people kind of, kind of know it. So you start to question, you know, well, do they, believe this? This? Do, do they, do they really believe this or do they live a certain other way? You know what I mean? All right. To answer your question. All right. So these people, they grew up a certain way. Guess what? I grew up a certain way too. I'm from the hood. I'm from LES. Uh, I'm from Lillian Wall Housing. I was, well, my kindergarten was in the middle of the projects. And at five years old, I was filling up crack vials with acorns. <laughs> so, I'm deep in the hood. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I grew up saying the N word. That was the hood thing. Yep. Yeah. And so everybody knows my bona fides, this and that, you know what I mean? And then I'm having a, a conversation with one of my brothers. Uh, and I should really shout the man out, DJ from the Bronx. He was teaching me how to, to DJ, uh, to, to scratch. Polarity, DJ Polarity. And I'm having this conversation, you know, I'm a little animated, talking with the hands, this and that. And then I remember I said, and this N-word, like, you know, a whole conversation. And I remember seeing the man wince. So here I am, from the hood, growing up saying it. You know what I mean? Dominicans, we a mixture of everything. The Tainos, the, the, the conquistadors, and the stolen Africans. Right. You know what I mean? Like, Dominicans, right. we... African... Africa has deep roots in the Dominican Republic, like our tamboras, right. our, our music style, all of that. So, like, yes, on paper, my bona fides are beautiful. But my right. brother winced. I felt a pain in his eyes. He knows where I'm from. Uh -huh. I didn't have to justify none of this. It still hurt him. So when yeah. you see something that maybe you grew up doing is hurting somebody, then you got to check yourself. Right. So, right. like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, these people, yeah, they grew up saying all of these other things, but guess what? It's been wrong for a long time. It's been even more wrong, even more of a time. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, like I'm saying, I grew up saying the word. Yeah, yeah. I can't bring myself to say it. Maybe, like, if I'm twisted or something, like, in a deep conversation... It might slip. I mean, I've, or, I've thought even for, then, a long it time, so, for a long time, for a long time, that people that are making these hit records in their forties and better now, they they yeah. should have the maturity to find a way around just dropping those bombs. And I saw uh, just last week, Cormega, Cormega uh, basically was trying to call for other artists to put a ban on the word and stop using it in your songs. He you said, yo, you know how stupid it looks that you're putting these words in a hook and then you're telling people not to say them? 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, that's the again, that's a whole debatable topic. My whole thing about look, if it's in a song and it's in the context of the song, take a look. Look, it's just like the people that want to say those N word jokes, right? What do they do first before they do it? Right? Like Dave Chappelle said, they go like this. Mm hmm. Yo, you heard the one about so and so. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like you understand? So, look, with the song thing, if you're in your car and you're with Becky and Karen and Buffy and you want to sing it together and you got the windows closed, nobody cares. That's your or, world. Or if it's the 80s or but the 90s. And <laughs> you grew up but in the city. Not. We ain't and, dead no and more. And you were young. But the so, facts so this is the thing. No more. But the, the, this is what I want to say. The facts are the is if you are a white person, there's no need for you to hang on out of principle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yo, man, that's it. Like, there was a time where it felt okay, and that time has passed. And it's all it, passed. It's not listen, like listen. it got up to me. Something personal that you hold dear to let your heart. Go. You know what I mean? Like, just let it go. Just but move I, on. It's so easy. I it's not like you're going to lose a check. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I you, you know, you know, everybody wants to, you know, everybody wants to be us when it's fun to be us. But when the cops come, mm -hmm. want to be us. So, right. So oh, listen, yeah. we got someone in the chat room that's saying, you know, it bugs me a bit that you're talking about people on a podcast behind their back. All right. First off, this is public, bro. Yeah, whoa, uh, whoa. No, no, listen. I'm hoping it gets to these people. Of course. Uh, you hear this me? makes for a bunch of has been. This makes for oh, interesting conversation because you know there's drama involved. Uh, but really, what makes it more interesting to us is we do actually know these people, you know, and, and right. we've had good right. times with these people and good conversations. And when you're at a party, you you know you're not going into someone's politics. Uh, necessarily, you know, mm -hmm. like you're all right, you're all vibing yeah, right. on a music level, on a New York City level, but that doesn't mean that you can't take issue with the politics once they become known, you know, right, right. And and look, look, we out here, we're uh, again, like he said, we're New Yorkers. He's welcome to come on here while yeah, he's on here. Uh, you know, get on here if you want to. Hiding. Say your piece. Say your piece. Right. Clear the air. Here's your opportunity. Here's your platform. You're a bunch. Of your your amongst your peers. You got a chance to do that. Yeah. If someone's right? listening and they're close Whoever's with Frankie and they think uh, he wants to say some kind of piece about it. Sorry. Can I can I interject a couple? Sure. Things? Because we yeah. we're just if talking over on, each other you... anyway. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. No, me and Joe. Because this would be great, great questions to ask him. And these are posts that he's actually posted up and deleted. Uh, that I got black friends uh, <laughs> arts and craft picture he did. Didn't tag none of those DJs to let him know that he's doing that. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what him. you're saying right now. Arts and crafts. He did a he did a meme. He put up all these pictures of all these DJs he shook hands with, famous black DJs. So mm. we're like with Goldie, Carl Cox, and all these other cats. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't tag none of them. Ask him what he means when he says that he is black culture. Mm. This was a brand new post today. If anybody wants it, I got the screenshots. Everything gets sent to me. I don't even ask about Wait, it. Wait, what? He says he is black culture. I'm going to send it to you, Jojo. You, you sh should yo, I do it right now? Yo, hold well, on, I think man. it's on my phone. Hold on, man. Listen. Listen. What's up? With Frankie, right? Hey, listen, I, I know him, so I'm going to say this myself. Frankie, okay. 
you are not, you understand me? You're not black culture, right? You were, if anything, if anything, and this, wow, wow, oof. Wow, this gets under my skin. Bro, if anything, be smart enough to say you were created from black culture. My man, my man, get it right. Get it right. If, if it wasn't for black ally, culture, yo, is? yo, if you're going to be an ally, you're going to be an ally. Think before you speak because you are not black culture culture don't try to fucking own something that you are not you were created from it i was created from it half of the people yo by here 95 percent of the people in the music industry were created from black listen, culture this is, this right? is another like situation before, it's fun to be us it's fun to be us until the cops come don't don't try to own it don't try to this own another it. situation that, where that, that's you can claim to be um, part of a movement within a culture that could be part of black culture. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, sure, you're 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 a pioneering DJ in a scene that drum is and drum and bass DJs are more black culture than techno DJs. Well, listen, listen. There, there are plenty of black techno DJs. Right. But and shout out to Carl Cox and Derek May and all these people from, from Detroit. Oh, geez. But you know what I mean? Yo. Why, you, why even oh. try to get that badge? That's, that, that's what I'm saying. It's like saying, yo, I could use the N word because my black friends call me that word. So, you know, we all use it the same way. If you're on a bus and you're standing next to a bunch of elderly women and you feel comfortable say saying that right word, you're just being ignorant, okay? Look, just like you trying look, to claim I'm, I'm okay with I am black culture, it doesn't. It just doesn't make sense. You are a pioneer in a culture that maybe spans a few cultures, yeah, you know what I mean. In your field, right? Not only that. Look, look. This disturbs me. This bothers me on a whole nother level, right? Because regardless, he's a techno DJ. I'm a house DJ. Uh, Mama Wana's drum and bass DJ, right? You know, a lot of us playing different different stuff. All of us within the music scene. Sorry, if you're in, and I said this to a friend of mine just yesterday. If you're in music or you're in sports. To me, it's absurd that you could even think of saying, like, you know, out of context, racist shit. There's just no need. Context where it's people, working. You deal with people of all sorts, right? If you're, you know, music, sports, and entertainment, let's say, you gotta fucking cross paths with with everyone, and that's got to be fucking probably one of the best experiences that you could have. But here's the thing: if you cross path with them. Do you see them as an equal human being? That that's not, but you can't. That's not a group of people. That's like that's a lot to think a group of people. Like that's each person feels differently on that level. But I feel what you're saying. Like there's a lot of people that just look down on. When I first encounter in someone, everyone's on an equal playing field. But I, sure. mm -hmm. but I, I can't I, guarantee that past the first sentence out of your mouth that that can remain the same. Yeah. I say I mean, you're uh, responsible is welcome for your own actions and your own statements. Sorry, go on. I was saying, I just uh, agree with you is to say, you know, everyone is welcome in the house of Juana. Doesn't mean you get to stay. <laughs> your ass might get kicked out if you ain't do the dishes. Mm -hmm. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we could just bypass that. I found out there's a whole thread against me, and they're using pictures of me well, from 2004 there there's trying to be. downplay me. There's got to be. It's it's hilarious. But that's amazing. Up one of the, that's amazing. That's amazing. One of the the largest things that a lot of people kind of bypass on this whole Frankie Bones had the heart, Stacy East using the N word with the ER. Oh, I forgot about that. What? Um, yeah, you want that screenshot too, baby? Oh, I definitely want that one because you using the N-word with the ER? 
We mm-hmm. call you out, right? Oh, I, you know, you, you know should how go I, check my page. That that's that's I, I, I'm between about that between one. looking for a possum and, and, and you know what? I haven't even said anything about these people in a minute, and they just keep on devolving. So if you're a friend, if you're a hardcore friend of Frankie Bones, and you really like appreciate your homie, and you really want the best for him, tell him just to apologize. Not to me, because I don't fucking care. Just say, I've said some bad things. I need to understand my place and where I benefit from black culture. Right. And don't say techno right. house drum right. and bass. If you don't recognize the, the, the black culture or even the gay black culture too, you know what I mean? Let's not forget our homies from the, back those days. You know what I mean? Like, we come from this. That's why I fight for this. You right. feel me? It's like, right. I, it's funny how people were telling me, it's like, oh, I knew you as a Raga Jungle DJ, but I hate your politics. It's like, were you listening to any of the music? Yeah. And most really? of it is like oh, freedom, got liberation. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fighting racism is like, how, how are you surprised? How are you surprised? You know what I mean? Well, that's like, part of the reason people, why I, people, people parse out message from a lot of shit in their world. They don't want to see a message. They just ignore shit. They ignore words. They ignore message. They just parse it out. It's just beats. I don't know. I'm not saying it's right, but you know, there's a, there's a lot of fucking people that got screws loose and are brain dead. I no doubt. But, but here's, here's one of the points uh, that I wanted to get to yeah. is that I'm not this superstar DJ where I got millions of followers and they all agree with me. The only reason why this thing blew up is because a lot of people felt the same way. Now they just feel comfortable saying it out loud. Yeah, let me tell you something. Right. If, if someone called me a racist, I wouldn't go to my photo album and in the smart search type black people. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you know what? Like... First of all, I wouldn't be like, even I know I got some photos all, in here somewhere. I know. First Let me of take all, these if up. somebody said that, first of all, if somebody called you a racist, I'd be like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Let me show you. Let me, let me show you pictures of my nephew. Right. Mm-hmm. Let me show you my, let me show you, let me show you Serge's other two brothers. Right. One of them. Darker than me, Mac Freeze, you charcoal motherfucker. Shout out to you. <laughs> you know? Like, mm-hmm. seriously, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's certain people that live a certain, live uh, live a life, like, that really just doesn't, just doesn't, doesn't breed that, right? So, yeah, some people, like, you know, some people are, like, like I said, there's the people that are, like, I'm not racist, but, and, that might be one of those things, or it might be one of those things where they're really just not not clear on it because they never deal with it. You understand what I'm saying, Hector? Right. Oh, I understand, but guess what? It's 2020. I'm right. sick and you tired of coddling cold. these people. You feel me? You gotta get it's called like, every now. And yeah, it's it, it. Listen, I've been called out on things, and it has made me a better person. Instead of doubling down on the wrongness that I am, I shut the hell up. I listen. I take it in. It's not going to be an overnight change, but I start working towards it. And I stop making excuses towards it. It was the same thing like with me using the N-word. I grew up saying it. It's right. like the hood thing to say. I saw it in my brother's eyes. It hurt him. I had to change that. So yeah. maybe I only say it a hundred times a day instead of a thousand. And then next week I say it 50 times. And then next week it's 10. And then next week I'm only saying it like if I'm like, you know, half a bottle in or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. And with with actual people mm -hmm. that understand the context of where it comes from. Because we, we still have, look, we know a guy right now that as soon as as soon as I, I I would call him, he'd be like, "Yo, what up, my Joe?" Right, and it wouldn't even phase me because 
he grew up, he also grew up that way, but he's white, mm. right? And I've never been like, yo, whoa, 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 right? And for most people that know him, and you know him, Serge, right? There's two guys that we know like that. You know, there's two guys that we know like that, and it's never, ever, ever been a problem because they have the quote unquote, they have a pass, right? Whatever that means. But people we know a couple. pass don't go past your mm. hood. Well, it stays yeah. on your block. You cross the street, it's Yo, open. man, there's no reason to hold <laughs> on to it. Let it go, guys. Let it go. <laughs> that, yeah. that, that's where I got at, like, many years ago. You got to hide those stickers now. And, you know, it, you it took... Sticker, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I have those stickers on, on like, some artwork. And I look at it now, and I'm like... Uh-oh. <laughs> yep, somebody's going to be like, hypocrite. <laughs> I don't think these are getting reprinted. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like, if you don't look at the person that you was 10 years ago in horror, and you haven't made any changes, then you ain't growing as a person. You feel me? Yeah, we could have grew up doing one thing. Doesn't mean we always got to continue to do that. Right. Once you're right. told it's wrong, it doesn't become better because you got these nice positive feelings or, or nice words about it. Whatever's would, wrong is wrong. It doesn't matter the context anymore. But I would never find I would never find myself correcting these two people because they are my brothers. They'd be the first one that if somebody said the ER version, they'd be the first ones to step up and and and, and right. correct. But right. remember, that's basically you giving them that hood pass. If they go across the street and go say the same thing to a couple of other homies, yeah, now they probably you, might get knocked out. That, that's that's at the point where you're like, yo, dude, let's go back across the street. Come on, come on. Well, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Your hood pass isn't transferable. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. It stays in your block. <laughs> Once you cross that street, you in no uh, you in international waters. Yeah. Your pass is no longer valid. Return you know what? to wherever the hell you came from. I just thought of a way we can make money off of this. Well, you, you, you can have we a can swear. Sell. You can have That's a swear it. jar with the N word on it. No, like, what? we'll sell the N word pass to people if they think it's uh, transferable. Like yo. Fine, but Yo, Give my man JoJo. Okay. <laughs> Let's say that we got all of New York like, real to agree. Uh, right there. All of New York to agree? Yeah, on let's say, nothing. Yeah, let's good say luck. we all get all of New York to agree on that. You think Chicago going to care? You think Los Angeles going to care? Or I don't hook pass in New York buy, like so. Once they <laughs> buy the pass in New York, we can we can that's that's no problem. Look. For we 1995, we're going to have to make deals across the country. Say it with open windows. Say it to your work colleagues. Just show them your N-word. You lost your fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> 1995 a month, you'd be like, yo, I got my official N-word license. And it'll be owned uh, by Bill Gates. Uh -huh. I got and this. All it takes is somebody to say, yo, I think that's fake. Black. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> I don't see the hologram. So, they just got to look it up. It'll have a QR code on it, like, so they can scan it with their phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think we phone. should start a segment. When was the last time you heard the N-word that you wanted to look up a QR code? I, I think <laughs> yo, I think we got to make a like, new segment <laughs> called Block or Unfollow. <laughs> Black. Black. If you're already in that question, block. No, because yeah, in but, fact, I go to my unfollow list and like, yo, I haven't seen this person in a couple of years. Let me just upgrade them to a block. <laughs> what if it's just someone that, you know, posts a lot of cat pics and you're like, uh, you're, you're my friend, no, but, no, but there's no other way for me to free no, up the feed a little bit. Snooze, block, or unfollow. Oh, there's right? a snooze. If no. you posting something that you love that makes you happy, doesn't mean I gotta understand it. If it makes you happy, I'm happy for you. So no, I will not block a person doing right. that. Now, 
you're being racist, transphobic, sexist, or whatever, then we're going to have problems. But like, oh, because they, they're putting up pictures of trees or no, whatever? I got a good nah. one. I got a good story what? about someone you know, else. Here's the thing. Heck, uh, Hector, what about, what about this? Wait, sorry to interrupt you, but like, what about this? What about opening the discussion? Because there's certain people where where you know they're okay with your dialogue. Like, like there's a couple of my friends where I'm like, yo, dude, what the fuck are you saying? Right? And they'll be like, yo, I'm saying X, Y, Z. And I'm like, well, X, Y, Z is kind of dumb because of whatever, you know, where you can have a dialogue with these people where you could, you know, if you call, like, would you rather just call somebody out on their shit and then block them or call them out and give them a chance to respond and see if, if and see if that shit can be opened up in the oh, right I usually give them that's the thing most people forget I usually give them that follow up question what do you think what do you think of this cuz it's like basically depending on what you say is yeah. depending on what I'm going to do yeah so it's so like it's I give everybody that opportunity is that what you really think but there's certain things it's like I don't need to think you know what I mean like I've had people like hit me up in the morning I'll be waking up and I'll be like, yo, Hector, you need to block this dude. And I was like, well, on the strength of your word, fuck <laughs> I'll be on that, that, that one group that says exposing racism. I'm blocking people who got pounds with people nowhere near New York, but they saying uh -huh. some racism. Uh, you know, fuck I, I that like to do too. that sometimes too. Oh, you know what? I just I got, know. I just got added to a group called make them famous. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what they do. If you know, if you're out there and you decide to be like, oh, this N word and blah mm -hmm. and this, that, they make you famous, right? That's for yeah. all the Karens out there, right? They're, yo, Karen, they Karen, they're coming for you. Karen, be so careful. This dude, Stop. don't be so quick with that cell phone. This dude owed my boy some money. And mm. uh, very long story short, he ended up saying, oh, that must have been my twin brother. <laughs> right? And on some real shit, tried to convince him that he had a twin brother that's always trying to do like some identity fraud shit with him. <laughs> well, guess what? You getting robbed then. That sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Where's yeah. my money? Well, yeah, and he was in another city. He wasn't in New York. And I didn't have this issue, but off the strength of that, I was like, I'm going to block this guy. And when I was looking at my block list the other day, I was like, oh, it's that dude. And I'm like, let me unblock him because that just sounds so crazy. Maybe I would, maybe, like, something, something couldn't have been right with all that. Maybe I was missing part of the story. And immediately I saw him posting some wild shit and I was like, nope. <laughs> yeah, I, I put you there yeah, for a reason. Yeah, dude, dude. I was like, I'm not gonna un I'm not gonna unfriend you. You're just no longer allowed to be in my right. vicinity. If you see me in the street, cross the street. All right, now we ain't talking now this now this disagreement. <laughs> we'll, we'll call it a disagreement. Uh all right. Uh, I don't see that as like something that's gonna translate, like to you know, real life too much. Like, you see this person at a party, not gonna be like, Your "Hey, promoter, I don't think you should," you know, or maybe you will. I don't know. Well, well that, that happened out here. Dude, uh, a dude got banned from the drum and bass scene for telling uh, for telling me. At, right after my pops died, and I did, I pulled the Mama Wana. I showed the screenshots. I was like, "This is the kind of DJs we got oh, in our scene out here." Okay. That's your boy. <laughs> and, and people saw the saw the thing, and uh, you know, this guy had the nerve to tell me that uh, my dad dying meant there's one less N word on the planet. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 now. You know me. I see the look on your face, Vandal. You know me. 
Do you know how hard it was for me to maintain diplomacy well, I think throughout diplomacy that? Diplomacy is the key word because you're like, I want to keep living in Austria, so I can't kill this person. You know, I, you know, uh, still to this day, that's something that that really bothers me. But I'm really glad that I kind of when you have your Michael Douglas falling down moment, you're going straight to his crib. Dude, if we were at the five borough, if we were in the five boroughs, this would be a very different thing. Yeah. You know that. You know that. I mean, his- that's where I see you, and that's 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 it. And you'd be lucky because I got I got two brothers that were like, "Yo, I'll get on a I plane." I know this right is taking now. a dark turn right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> to get back to the surgeon's thing. What I was saying. What I was saying is his racist comments ended up with everybody in the scene here banding together and not letting him into right. to- into totally different bad. clubs. They were like, you know, and uh, they were like, "Yo." We saw what your comments were, right? This guy forgets the type of job I do. I, You know what? He could have had his shot on my show. His girlfriend was trying to work that out for him. Right before that. No, before. Before uh, that, right? Uh, on, do you think I would try to do that as some kind of ambassadorship afterwards? Yeah. No. Nah. You know? But what I'm saying is those comments, those kind of comments, the wrong kind of comments in the wrong kind of place will end up with you getting even shut out by your own scene because they would be like, yo, we didn't even know you were like that, you know? Mm-hmm. And that that can happen. That can happen anywhere, right? And that can happen to the biggest of DJs. And this is what, this is what our guy needs to think about, right? You know? Uh... You got to think about what you're saying, where you are, and how and how you should approach things. And Hector, you should call people out. Like I do, call people out as well, right? Mm-hmm. You know. And there's a way to do that to make them think that maybe it's a way to to for them to sort of change their views. Some people are gonna dig their heels in more. And those are the people where you block them. You say, "I don't need you in my circle. I don't, I don't want you around me." Right. Mm-hmm. You know, some things are harder to address with some kind of diplomacy. Right. Well, I mean, he definitely True. outed him publicly immediately. So it's not like. But, but here's the thing. If he was a solid person and I said some smack about a solid person, people would be laughing at me. The what? problem is bigger than me. Oh yeah, it's not just because no, no, no. you said you that. open a it's floodgate. It's because all these people have bad. Yeah, like I said, I just made people feel comfortable to say whatever they've been feeling for a long time. Right. So, right. like I said, like for instance, I got somebody who's harassing me. Uh, he's trying to get under my skin. He posted up on one of my my YouTube videos. Um, I even posted it up the screenshot on on my page. Uh, uh, ha ha ha! It's funny. Why don't you talk about the times you and your friends drug those women? So I'm comfortable enough to post it up on my page and I say, "Look, I saw you post it. I me. kind of forgot about it." I'll say. Mm-hmm. But if you saw, it wasn't people saying, "Oh, yeah, that was that one time that Hector made me feel like no, that." It was no, just woman after was woman saying, "Yo, I had to have my back. Had to back me up. This and that. You know what I mean?" But that's what I'm saying. If you a solid person, somebody talking smack about you is going to fly the fuck off. Right. But if you not, if I was a sleaze bag, let's say for the sake of argument, I was this creepy dude who did all this creepy shit to all of these people, and I posted that up, then it would have been like, yeah, I remember when Hector did this. I remember when Hector did that. Instead of Hector always had my back. Hector's a perfect gentleman. Hector did this for me when I was like this. Hector took care of me when I was like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's not just I said something. It's people now feel comfortable to say what they've been feeling. So had I not said anything, could have been the next person. I was there. That that pressure was there. And and that was the the fun of, of seeing it. 
on on Facebook, you know, it's like, oh no, the people are like, yes, they're like, yes, and finally, we, someone, someone is saying something. And let this let this not go without saying because I know there's some people that are probably listening to this podcast right now as we speak, especially a couple of New Yorkers in there or whatever. Right, look. It was mentioned earlier, we're talking behind somebody's back. The video is up there. The video will stay up there, right? Yeah, no, we'd be happy I said, to, to look, hear. We'll be happy to bring you, bring you on here, Frankie. I say that on behalf of the other guys on the podcast. I say that on behalf of me as somebody from South Brooklyn who wants to address it with you directly and really see where your head is at. Right. I'm saying this. I'm saying this as DJ Jojo, not in defense of anybody else. Right. I'm from South Brooklyn, just like you are. I'm a DJ, just like you are. Nothing that we say is behind your back. You can look at the video. You can look at the video again. You can message me personally. You can come on the platform yourself and speak to everybody. Right. Mm -hmm. You will get that chance. Right. And Hector, I don't know if you want to talk with him, but if you want to do that, we will make that happen here too, right? It's all open. It's all about discussion, right? So, if, you know, if anything, this is the best way to keep things in a positive manner, out right? Too much. Okay. Right, right, right. Look, mm -hmm. you know. People being where they're from can always lead to things, but we, we know we're adults, right? So let's come at this in the way that we really want to. Can we really, if there's something on your mind, can we change your mind, right? That's what I'm saying right here, right now. So if anybody wants to take anything else and say, oh, these guys were talking shit about you, take that part right there. What's really on your mind? Come up here and talk to us. You know where we're at, right? So you got your opportunity, and I would rather have you speak publicly than write me privately, right? So get at us, right? That's all I'm saying, right? Uh, so I just want to avoid uh, avoid people trying to think that this is coming at people in a negative way. Yes, there are negative aspects to this bullshit, right? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right, racism is not tolerated. Period. End the story. That's that's the main that's the main side of it. On mm -hmm. the other side of it, let's address it from the music side of things. Let's 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 see where your mind's really at. Right, like if 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 you think you really stand with your position, you'll come and speak on it. Right, that's all. Right, that's 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 the only part of part of that whole thing that I have to say, you know, we all deal with haters and I can't, I can't, can't imagine. I can't imagine he'd be a hater and I don't think he's afraid to come and speak for himself. And for the other people that are like, Oh yeah, you're talking about and other people's back. We're not cowards. Nobody no. on this screen that you look at is a coward. Everything that's being said on this mic will be said right to your face in and front of that, you. that's when this whole podcast has always been. It's been us, you know, sitting around talking like we would in one of our kitchens or something. You know what I mean? Right. 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 So there's nothing There's nothing here that, that, that that's... We didn't even know. roast anybody. He... Yeah, yeah, we still need we still need that. We still need uh, to be able to to roast some people, but you I mean, know we, we haven't yet. That, Shout out to all the people that are joining us, man. You brought you brought a whole bunch of guests in here when we th when people thought we were gonna have drama. They thought you were gonna put on the wrestling mask and be like, "When I when I see you, Frankie Bones, I am yeah, coming well, for yeah, you." Yeah, they probably thought we were all just well, gonna I, shit. I don't on consider the two. But, yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Wait, hold up. I got something for you. All right. Put this, put this on when you do it, though. You got to be El Gigante. <laughs> I got, yeah. I got one actually upstairs. Oh, <laughs> oh hell yeah! Wait, you think I don't know? That's it. One thing I want to get to it. 
point of the matter is, dude has problems with a lot of people. So let's say we go on, we talk it out, we hug it out. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All those other people who he pissed off. Well, there's only two off. things that can happen. There's either um, he doubles down and it's like, fuck that. Down. Or it's it, it gets worse. Or it's day. one of those like, hey, look, I'm sorry if you were offended. And, you know, that might be the it's, thing to do. It's Message. easy out. That whole, I'm sorry if you were offended. Everyone requires that. And meanwhile, it just means nothing. It's just like, well, I still mean everything I said. Mm -hmm. I just don't want you to be sad. You know, it's it's just like, uh, don't even bother. Yeah. So uh, one of those two is going to happen. But you're saying he's tripling down. Oh, yeah. Like, just like I said, like today, the latest update that I get, I don't even ask for these people, send them to me. Uh, is black culture. Um, I bet you somebody already posted it up in the chat room. Shout out to Chris Luckett. He knows the deal. Uh, you know what I mean? It's, uh, but I'm not the only one. I blocked him. After I said that post, I blocked him. I stopped Ain't talking no about damn him. Damn black culture. Like, sure. literally, my last few days, the, the most important thing to me is finding this little possum I called the little homie. I got a little, uh, you know, series going up on YouTube. You know, so it's just me, baby, talking to a possum and trying to get it. And so far, so good has been getting away from me. Uh, I think maybe the mama came out, but like literally, I don't care. All that stuff, I don't care. I'm not going to get booked for a 90s techno party. I'm not a 90s techno DJ. <laughs> I'm a drum and bass DJ. But My thing crew doesn't like him either. My, but the, my crew is like throwing the biggest shows. He can't even come. <laughs> so like, my how are you going to affect I don't like you. I don't like you either. <laughs> I like you less. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, it, listen, you know, uh, we can all be definitely involved in, our, uh, in, in all these different things. I think the main message behind all of this is that like you know what racism isn't really going to be tolerated right no. it's not, it shouldn't be and uh, honestly within within the music scenes you know and i'm talking about all across the board whether you're doing you know music that would be okay like you know stereotypically white music like metal death metal or something like that and you got you got Same people black music here. You got people involved in, in, in that. But what I'm saying is like, you know, all across the board, if you're involved in music or entertainment, that shouldn't be a thing, right? I, I truly, truly believe that in my heart and mind, right? Like if there's any message that I want anybody that's listening to this thing to get out of this whole shit is, you know... You know, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be about like it, it shouldn't be about hating somebody else because they're different. Right. That difference is what makes fucking life special. You know, it really is, especially in, in, in music. Yeah, you can't you can't know? sleep That's on the people one thing in that, anything. That people. No, I know. But it surprises you. It just comes, it becomes more surprising when it's when it's within your industry. You know, I'm sure it was the same thing for those basketball players that were playing for Don Sterling with the Clippers, you know, and they heard him talking, to, you know, talking, talking crazy about. Let them. me ask you. And they got it. Sorry, go on. Good, good. Uh, Roger Goodell is now basically begging NFL teams to give Kaepernick a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But oh, can, can I give a quick shout out? Yeah, for sure. Shout out to all you haters in the chat room. 
saying that I'm racist. Notice it's only racist white people that say I'm racist. All oh, the yeah. cool ones, they got my back. So yeah. you people who say that I'm racist against white people, I got more white friends than you do. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, well, you got to post the photos. You got to post photos of you with white people. Man, just check my friends list. Don't, don't do I that. I have a lot of white friends. I'm oh, not hell no. I have a lot of white friends. And you friends. talk white. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Look, I was watching, listen, I was watching a podcast of, uh, of one of my one of my favorite Yankees, uh, CC Sabathia had a podcast where he brought on a bunch of other black baseball players, right? And you're talking about like when we're talking about all the major league sports, MLB is probably one of the most conservative of all sports, right? Yeah, uh, we got a lot of brown skin players. Dominican players, Cuban players, black players, but black players are far and few between it. It's actually declining, right? And they were they were talking about how they really had a muzzle on them because sometimes they would be the only one in the clubhouse, right? And they would see some of these things happening and some of them, uh, you know, some of them couldn't really speak because they're like, yo, they don't even the want one guy. One guy talked about how he had to cut his dreads, right? Because the team said, you, you, you can't be on this team with your dreads. And uh, he said he was talking with one of his white players. And the guy said, he goes, you know, you're so gangster with your, you know, you're so gangster with your dreads. Uh, but you know, you speak so well. He's like, I went to college. <laughs> like, like, why are all the good qualities about anyone? And I was, I was told this about the way I speak, and you know, and how I got radio. You talk white. Why do I talk white? Because I have command of my language. Right? Why are all the good qualities about anybody? something that only has to be associated with with white, right? And these are baseball players, millionaire baseball players talking about how they go through some of the same shit that we would go through, even when they get pulled over in their car because their car might be too nice, you know, for what they look like, right? And this is the, this is the underlying stuff that we're dealing with, right? This is the... You know, the 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 overt and blatant stuff like those loud those loud squeaky wheels, fuck them. You already know where they stand, right? When those kind of guys get punched in their face, they know why, right? But the the uh, the other type of people where you're like, yo, you don't see it, you don't you don't see it, you don't see that I got pulled over. In my Jeep, because I was the driver and not Serge, right? You know, I mean, it's just is one of these things that, that like, should be really easy for a lot of people to see, and now more than ever, right? Because what is the reaction then? More fucking mysterious accidents or mistakes that just happen to involve, you know, people of color. You know, and and everyone else and everyone and and everyone else saying, "Oh well, why can't we get along? Why are you? Why can't you just, you know, not get angry about it?" Does that make sense to anybody? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it doesn't seem to it doesn't seem to make sense to me, right? You know, it seems like this is something that we should we should uh, actually be over and done with at this point. But it is the powers that be don't want it. And then these people are busy making too many excuses for it, coddling too many races. 
There's a reason why Dr. Martin Luther King spoke about the white moderate. The white moderate is worse than the KKK. And he wrote that, was it the, the, the letter right. from Birmingham? So right. everybody trying to shut down all the nonsense, why aren't you going to be nice? You know, basically when somebody tells me that, is they just telling me to, to shut up and, and play music. Right. It's right. like, so you're not trying to tell me you're not racist, but I need to shut up and play music. Yes, master. Fuck you. Yeah. So that's right. what people don't see, you know what I mean? The, the, they, they think they just being nice. But in the meantime, you're telling me to shut up. You know what I mean? I have a voice. I have a feeling. And for all you people who are saying, I don't see color, I need you to see my color. I need right. you to see my culture. I need you to see the differences. I need you to understand that my experiences aren't yours. So when I go through something fucked up, you don't say, oh, that's not true because it's never happened to me. Because you ain't me. You don't got this problem. In this country, this yeah. is a problem. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, especially in a country where they tell us a different story. It's like, oh, everybody has the same opportunity. Oh, really? You know? Why do the numbers of the people in prison tell a different story? Why do the numbers of, like, you know, people whose lives feel threatened because they got a beard, like Fub said, or like... You got long hair and brown skin and somebody's like, what the fuck are you? Until you start speaking Spanish, right? And then they might even think you're the you know, wrong thing because, again, racism, <laughs> you know? Funny story real quick. Right mm -hmm. after 9-11, while I still had that crew cut and a long goatee, yeah. first dude to scream at me, go home, you effort Arab, was a Dominican in Spanish. <laughs> so I came back to him in Spanish. He's like, "Where the fuck you think I'm from?" He's like, "Uh, uh, uh, uh." It's like you know, all white people problems. We got colorism in our in our culture too. Like, oh, you know what? You know what? You need to look up the the guys that are in the Dominican Republic that do KKK rallies. They're darker than both of us. They they there was a. Uh, of that have you ever heard of that because no I, I haven't personally heard of it because you would have heard hear me joking on these people every day yo look uh, at online and I, then, I'm, I'm definitely after the show you might see some things on my wall but <laughs> there's always there's always been a small group of individuals within whatever group that yeah. always want to be the good ones yeah sure so in the South, there was a group of black men who were pro-KKK. Their yeah. reasoning was when the white man takes the world, they would only be uh, used as slaves and not killed. There was gay Nazis. There's gay Republicans. The log cabin Republicans? Yeah. Republicans don't care about you, bro. You could be a Republican all you want. You're still not one of them. If you ever have you ever noticed like you know the one of the one of the trends that I really noticed especially you know when you're a New Yorker you know and you've got a range of you know first generation New Yorkers second generation New Yorkers blah mm -hmm. you know like you know people's people whose parents or grandparents uh, don't even don't don't even uh, really speak English and stuff like that, right? So you got a you got a range of you got a range of, of different people, but you ever notice that in America the people that that become citizens all of a sudden turn on the people that are trying to come to the U.S. That's the right? sister. and and I. I and I've seen that amongst a lot of different communities, right? You know, I've I've seen like you know, uh, you know, it's, uh, Latino communities, Mexicans that are Americans, right? They got their citizenship, and they're like, I don't understand why they're coming across the border. What well, the they're fuck? now well, we, one of the we, good ones. We we had this question, we had this conversation a couple weeks ago. Like uh, we were talking about like the different forms of republicanism. It's like. Like for us, it's like 
being an immigrant back in the day, I heard stories of my grandfather not naming his store by his name so he can have rocks thrown through his window. And it became like, oh, if we want to be like these people, we got to become Republicans and hate, hate on ourselves. And like, that's how we fit in. It's how we assimilate. It's like a <laughs> really fucked up level of assimilation. Yeah, you know? the good immigrants. The good ones, exactly. Yeah, but don't you find that fucked up, right? Like, it's fucked I've, up. I've, Back. I, oh, yeah. It's you know, and I've seen that, like, you know, uh, look, okay. And it's hard to say this kind of thing because you'll get pegged for the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. But there are a lot of, a lot of my, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. only on but Wednesdays I've, and today's I've, Tuesday. I'm fucked. I've seen, I've seen a lot of, uh, uh, uh you know, a lot of white people say, "Oh, this is their country. They founded the country, <laughs> right?" Yep. Yeah. Real you, crackers. Some yeah. people who really don't want to deal with the racial problems that this country has had since they killed the original people that lived here. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. Are you? I hear you. No, I was muted. Uh, Did you guys hear that speech that was on um, the steps of the Lincoln Memorial? It was like a nighttime speech uh, during a protest. And it was an educator. And he was given the history of um, Mm -hmm. like settlers landing and, you know, how uh, a lot of the slaves were brought from Europe as well as Africa and, you know, for a while. It was, you know, indentured yeah. servants and slaves, which were pretty much the same thing. Um, but then, well, then uh, but then after a while, well, one has a time limit. Supposedly, that's, right. that's like paying off a, a, a taxi medallion, You're doing that shit your whole life. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, but now imagine you branded with this taxi medallion all over your skin. So no matter what you do, that's what people see. So at some point, right, that's why there's a difference. At some point. They decide, okay, well, you know, the Europeans, uh, indentured servants or slaves, uh, we're going to free them and we're going to give them some property and a gun. And those are the people that became the police. And they were a class that was below the upper class, but they were like a step above the African slaves. And, and that's thing, the history of the police. Oh, One thing in this problem that this country has always taught that it is better to be a poor white man than a rich black man. Right. So that mentality is why it's so stuck in a lot of these like small places. These people are being like screwed over by the same government that's screwing me. Definitely. You're just as broke as me. You feel me? You go through the same, you know, we don't got all the same issues, but we got a lot of them. You know what I mean? So in order to keep that divide going, it's easier to say, yo, I'd rather be poor and white than rich and black. Because think about it. If you're a successful black man and you got yourself a beautiful Maserati, all the hard work that you've done, you can still get pulled over because they look like you stealing it. Like that dude in the protest uh, a couple of days ago, a dude rode in and his horse. What did everybody say? Yo, that dude stole Yeah, we talked about that guy, yeah. He was an equestrian. That was his horse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I can't even front, I think, you know what I mean? That's how ingrained it is. I'm fighting this thing. I'm saying, yo, how messed up this is. And I still have this, oh, that dude stole it. Ha, ha, ha. Oh wait, that was his. <laughs> yeah, but that, so that would have been stupid. Joke. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that would have been my joke. From <laughs> that would have been my joke from the jump. I was like, "Yo, well, they that's got the way we've been thing. trained to think, though." That's the messed up part. So here's a dude who's worked hard to be able to own a horse because you can't be a, a own a horse and be broke. You feel me? Yeah. That's right, maintenance right. and everything. So that means you gotta have good money. And that horse looked beautiful and well taken care of. 
So that dude got bread. But oh, yeah. what's our first thought? He stole, he stole the horse. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's the mentality that we even been taught, that we've been lied to. That we can't even have a horse. That we can't even be in a position that we own a horse. That we can just go around on our horse that we earn, that we pay for, that we put in all of this stuff. We don't even see that as a possibility. And that's an issue. We're it trained really against ourselves. It really is. There's a lot of, and this is where you, where you hear a lot of very Afrocentric people talk about self hatred, right? That, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that women are finding themselves having to be beautiful according to European standards or things like that. Where, whereas that's, you know, that's, that's not the case, right? Like everything good isn't just in that direction. And that's the whole thing that we have to get over. And that's, that's really an underlying programming that people don't feel, mm -hmm. right? They don't really understand it. And then the, the, there's the people that go, you know, they, they truly get upset. They're like, why are people calling me racist? Right. I'm not. Right. And you're like, no, you're not. But you still don't really understand. Let me try it again. Right. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. Listen, right. After the third time, I say, shut the fuck up. You a goddamn racist. Enjoy the block. There's <laughs> only so much I got. I'm not a teacher. I'm not bag events. I'm not one of these. Magical Negro movies where, like, you know what I mean? You deal with this guy, then you become a better man. You know what I mean? Like, no. No, I'm not that guy. You go find that person. I'm not him. I'm the one that's going to say, you a piece of shit and get the fuck away from me. You know, and if it sticks with you, it does. If it doesn't, I don't care. Either way, just stay the hell away from me. Maybe 10 years down the road, you're like, yo, actor, you was right. You but think until then... Stay the fuck away from me. That's it. Well, let's take it to the tensions that are happening across the U.S. right now. Do you guys think that that uh, that the tipping point has occurred and that we're going to start really rapidly moving towards some progress? Or do you think that a lot of the things that are happening are a for now solution like Fubs alluded to before where... where uh, where Cuomo was like, you got all the sneakers, yeah. you got there, all the stuff There is you no wanted. finish line. Do we have the quality now? Like, you got all your fucking loot. Listen, Are you people, okay now? Capitalist like, world, I don't understand. It wasn't about the loot, right? It wasn't about looting. All right. You know? we're, 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 everyone's calling us for the smoke right now. <laughs> Raul's ringing the bell in the chat room. Uh, H Hector's got a, a vicious hater. Um, and Morgan? Yeah. Morgan, you love saying my name. I, mean, I bet you think about me I, at night. Uh, That's the problem. I gonna Am I too sexy call out for the you? Name, but... Yeah. Here you go, Morgan. Here you oh, go, Morgan. <laughs> we just had nipples gonna... exposed. <laughs> You know what, Morgan? There's this thing called, uh, you know, defamation of character. Right? Hey, screech that to our we, bitch. We already asked and Esther. You should, you should actually really think, think hard before you start falsely accusing people of all kinds of things, especially in a chat Probably room. Uh, in front of my where, peers. Where we run it. Right, so I just you I, know, let's just let's just let's just keep it at that, right? And there are a lot more of our allies.